No, we're not doing the Hangout, but like the show's going to be through Google Hangout. No, it's not. Greetings and Oops. welcome to a very public spanking off. I hope I'm on the right stream. <laughs> this week, we're back in Pathfinder land. Where uh, we left off, the Grindy Bros had just finished clearing out an ogre clan from its lair in the hopes of saving Lady Genie. But in a, before they could battle the big boss of the ogres, they heard a mysterious draconic uh, voice speaking in draconic to the ogre. <laughs> then they battled. Also, the want to say it again. <laughs> Because it's been a month. I fucking called that shit. I called that shit that the fucking little puppet creeps are fucking demons or whatever. We don't know that yet. <laughs> we 100% know that. We don't 100% know anything. Also, sorry for the off. Sorry for glutes going blind, Dame. It really fucking sucks. Like, trust me, as somebody with vision problems, like, that's not fun. Now, same here. Well, we are okay. Just got done checking the audio. Case. The audio is actually working for once on the first try. Hey, I'm a professional. I know these things. <laughs> right? Have we fully explored these caves? Yes. All right, uh, gentlemen. I did have a suggestion before we, we move on. Yes. We have a series of magical items burning holes in our pockets, and while most of them are too large for us to make use of. There are three items I think we should divvy up before we face any harder encounters. And what three items would those be? Sure, I don't even Ooh, know what to call you anymore. Red. It's red. Red. Remember? Fine, red. We have a uh, cloak of resistance, a uh, ring of protection, and an amulet of natural armor that we can divvy up amongst ourselves. All right, who has the lowest armor here? Would that not be a and, meta question? Oh, Don't you mean Matt, I think weakest? you said... Who has... I'm, I am in full plate. So who who between the two of you needs natural armor? Uh, I think Elijah already has spells, an amulet. I got fucking spells, and I already got one. Yeah. So actually, I'd, I'd rather Manos have the amulet of natural armor. Uh, oh. Natural armor does some things that armor doesn't. All right. I'll take it. it what What kinky. does it do? <laughs> it increases your armor class by one, but it does so by uh, thickening your skin, as it were. Ugh, does is that an unattractive thing? I don't get like bark of a. Well, I don't get, like, you bark. might look. I mean, you might look extra bronzy. It might look leathery. <laughs> it depends on the ring. We can say that it makes it more extra bronzy and muscly looking. All right, gimme, gimme. I know, on like a, a werewolf, their natural armor comes from just having hair that's hard to cut through. So it it. It really varies. So I could grow <laughs> hair. I could either get gold skin or. Yeah, it, it just. Or or you could have like a, little, a bit of an insect carapace grow. I mean, it, it's all different. Gah, none of this sounds good. <laughs> uh, oh. and, and Matt, does Elijah already have a ring of protection? Matt? Yeah. Matt is busy okay, still so up his car. I could take the ring of protection if you want. That would help me out. It it's it only grants a bonus to armor. It doesn't grant natural armor, but it's okay. still a plus one bonus. So and then I probably put on the I don't amulet, see. I'll see what it does to me, and if I don't like it, I can take it off. Well, the aesthetics are kind of up to you and or Angus. It oh, okay. If it's cursed. What? <laughs> <laughs> And probably nope. we'd want to give the Cloak of Resistance to Manus as well, because his charisma is a bit low for a paladin. What does the Cloak of Resistance do? Oh, uh, it gives plus one to uh, Reflex, Fort, and Will. It, nope. I, I think they kind of act like uh, uh, Doctor Strange's Cloak. They kind of pull you out of the way of things. Okay, so it adds one to each? Yes. Is I'm going to cast Detect Evil on this shit. <laughs> would that would I know if it's cursed if I if uh, I you can evil you can then? use detect evil on objects yes yeah. okay I'm doing it I'm dead, gonna do it take twenty I'm doing it so yeah um you detect no evil yay 
I'm going to try on this uh, uh, armor amulet. I'm just going to put it around my neck. And what happens, GM? <laughs> you feel your skin uh, tingling for a few seconds. Are there any aesthetic changes? <laughs> your natural hair on your body is a little bit thicker. Uh huh. A little more, more, um, more lumberjacky, bristly. Oh, good. Um, but overall, you're like an Italian mobster now. <laughs> you know, fine. I'll take. Oh, can it be a gold chain? <sighs> can it be a gold like chain? Like that's the necklace. Yeah. <laughs> it says it has a pendant that says Guido on it. You know, Excellent, so. I'm going to keep that on. I'm actually going to bump my AC up. All right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And what is the actually, other thing? A, a what of what? The, the Cloak of Resistance. Okay, it's called a Cloak of Resistance. Although, I, I saw know. the biggest woodpecker ever today. Since, since, uh, since I'm taking a ring and you're taking the amulet, should we give the cloak to Elijah? We could. How good? How how are your saves doing, Matt? I, mean, I know the will is a low one for you. Like the lowest one for me is five. So if anybody's got worse save, if anybody's got lower than a five, why like, you take it? Yeah, I have a reflex of four, but again, I kind of called dibs on the bag, so I'm kind of trying to give you guys the other items. Look, I'm fine. Like, look, I got, I got, I'm, I'm fine with just plain old gold because I got a very specific set of items I want to buy. How's your reflex scores, uh, Jason? Jason. His reflex is so good he's avoided the question. <laughs> sorry, I had my microphone off. I'm sorry. My reflex, I was looking at my body hair. Sorry. Um, it's uh, six. Uh, that, that does mean that I have the lowest reflex save of all of us. I don't know if you guys want to, but yeah, again, my reflex I, is also a six. I call dibs on the the bag of tricks, so that that's like worth more than any of the other three items. <laughs> okay, cool. And I'm still tempted to give it to the paladin. Like though, I said, he's I just, in front. I'm fine with gold. See? we're good. Yeah, well, I mean, I presume Rain, the last time you were in the village, you dumped your gold. We haven't been back to the village since we started this thing. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't really had a yeah, chance to sell off any of our gold. stuff. I'm not going to carry all my gold on me. Like, gold is fucking heavy. Yes, it is. Also, if I carry gold on me, that's less fucking weight that I could dedicate towards pocket sand. <laughs> oh, boy. At what point does it stop being pocket sand and it just becomes a sack full of sand at your belt? All right, just to, to, uh, to, to be less of a liability, I'll wear the cloak as well. Okay, so, good. We're all good? Everybody's good? We're good? We're good? Come on, I'm itching to either kill Oogie Boogie or just save him. We should be good. We still have stuff that we can sell and or get more gear with. Kill later, but why not, we want to do that. Way, in a way, if he's cursed by demons and stuff, wouldn't killing him be saving him? I don't know how that fits with if my If you look alignment. at it from a different... <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember like the Obi-Wan. We've one, never really from, had to uh, deal from a with different perspective. Killing people can't be who, are, who are possessed by demons. I don't know how I can approach that. We'll Generally, figure it out. You uh, put the demon into a bunch of pigs and then drive them over a cliff. All right, great. Then well, let's go find some pigs. Not <laughs> Jesus, he's a paladin. <laughs> <And lady. laughs> let's head oh, back. Um, yeah, Remember the woman? We left culture. the woman when we saved her from the spiders. Let's go check in on her. We didn't send her away. We told her to wait there, didn't we? 
Or am I thinking yeah. way back? No, you're right. No, I think no you we, we, we told the lady in here. But you also told Oogie, um, um, Eugene, Count Eugene, to pick her up. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Eugene, we asked to take the survivors back to the village. Right, so Eugene's and not even... And we have, if I remember correctly, we have two days no, until no. whatever the ritual is happens. Yep. So the we're, survivors we're, that we that saved... That was the survivors... From, that from was Eugene's the survivors cast. from earlier, but there, there was the lady in here... There was the lady in this cave that we saved. There's no lady in this cave you've saved. You've just seen no. ogres. Outside was, of the cave. I'm pretty sure before, we saved a lady. Before we went into the cave... We found a lady where we were being attacked by spiders. We saved her. Yeah, she was one of the people that uh, Count Eugene was going to take back. Okay. So we should go back to Eugene's castle. First, we have a request, Jason. Can you put on Oswald's voice to cheer up Dame a little bit? Oh, voice log. I'm afraid she needs to be showed up. Okay, hello everybody. I'm gonna be playing Man of the Quake Call for the rest of the show. Let's go. I'm gonna beat up the guy. <laughs> That's fine by me. Oh mean. boy. <laughs> oh boy. So Red, I think that I think that cloak you gave him was cursed. <laughs> it is because I'll be for better than ever. <laughs> You'll be stronger and bigger than ever. We're gonna don't do my don't by my style. I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm Mr. Oh my God, that's guy. The, that, don't that's the hammer on um, Manos. He just looks like us now. Yeah, let's go. I'm over down here. We're down here at the bottom of the map. See me? Look. Do, 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 do. Oh wow! Look. It's a dragon skull. <laughs> Who put no, this? No, it's a goat skull. I don't know. Would I get scope allowed to anybody because I want it now? Can I have it? I want oh, it. Oh no, this is, this is going to turn into Scarce's game where I'm going to be the straight man. I don't <laughs> like this. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. God, if it's both. Okay, where are you going? I, oh no, Jemshin, I feel bad for you. It's, it's going to be me and fucking Oswald. That's why we're all Sorry. together. Be your friend. La, la, la. Be your friend. Let's all go. Do, 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 do. Hey, didn't I have a dog? What happened to my dog? We left the dog with the lady. Well, then the dog and the lady, they went back to town. That's right. Yes. All right. Is there a place where we could get Or they're being sacrificed to the demon. I, wanna, I could eat a whole bowl of ice cream right now. So... When Do we last... have any idea where the ritual is going to be? The, the well, what? clue in what I told Matt last week. It should still be on his Skype. What is what? I don't remember. It'll Wait. Be in the Skype chat between us, Matt. <laughs> Go all your way back. Or oh, the DM could tell him why now. <laughs> he could. Hey, DM, no, what does my character remember? Okay. You, um, it was Matt that spoke Draconic, but he did what? tell you that uh, you heard the Draconic voice and that um, there was a reason why the person speaking Draconic lured uh, you lot away from the castle. Oh! <gasps> because the time of sacrifice is nigh. In a couple of days. Come on, Elijah, spill it. What did the what did the drag dragon man say? Well, it was more of a dragon Eugene, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah. Eugene. Well, yeah, we gotta go kill Eugene. I just met a guy named Eugene. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do? <coughs> We're going back to the castle to beat up Eugene. Which castle? Which, well, wait a minute. What? There's no only one castle. No. We didn't make it into the other castle because we got chased away by the robots. Well, who? Well, why? No. What robots? No, we made it into the other castle because remember that's why I was like the ogres raped. Oh, that's why we walked lady. around and there was nothing there and it was boring. It almost as if the DM didn't have anything yeah, set for up. A broken bed. <laughs> Except it's for a broken bed with a lot of blood in it, which I can yeah. put two and two together. Probably because someone Rape had a nosebleed. They had a nosebleed in the bed. The, the, the rapes. What? 
Now the the, the, the right. first Double castle though actually had the sacrificial altar and blood everywhere in its basement, so that's probably the more likely one. Let's go back to Odin's castle. Back to Odin's castle. Okay. This is why this is my favorite show on people. Yeah, and honestly, if it's look, if it's not the right castle, like I could just I'll just buff up and pop fucking I'll just grab Eugene and threaten to pop his head off like a fucking bottle cap. Yeah, let's do that. That's Ball good. cap time. Okay. I'll hold his feet and you pop his head. Let me just pop you. Oh, well, this is the thing I like about having Oswald here. He's morally ambiguous. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a good guy. So you enter into the castle. Um, and I will just... Oh, you've done it already. Cool. There's a big poop on your floor. <clears throat> and... Uh, yeah, you big poop. See that the throne room is empty. Ah. There's so okay. there was nothing in the courtyard. There was nothing in any of the pathways leading to the throne room. Nope. Anything going on in the murder basement? Oh. Well, you murder can go ba- check, but. Who wants to go to a murder basement with me? I'll go to a murder basement. Which way is that? Is that, push it all. is that over here? Yeah. No, up here? No, over here. There we go, right there. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, we're going to the murder basement. I swear, yeah. Angus. Oh, no, basement. I swear, I swear <laughs> Angus, if there's a fucking... If we go into this basement... If we go into this fucking basement and there's a little mushroom guy who's like, you're Eugene's in another castle, I'm going to fucking figure out a way to punch you through the computer. Oh, it's like with the Super Mario Bros. game. So, um, you see that there's just the... Past stains, the uh, rotting ogre corpse. Both. Because it's been a couple of days. Uh, Rigor Mortis has. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, bit- this oh, is the shit, right we went to the wrong me. castle there, wait. We gotta go back to the other castle? We gotta go back to the castle with Rape Bed, the, rape, the bed that rapes. What are you talking about? There was a blood bed. Alright, let's go to the other castle. Okie dokie. I get this feeling Angus is just running up the clock. Can we do that for four hours? It's still your joke, Micro. I improved it. Just like everything America steals. (laughs) So you hamburgers into the courtyard of the other castle Uh after a couple of days. There's a big red guy there. Hi, big red guy. Who is that? Who is that? And you see uh, up ahead there is a lady who looks a lot like Eugene. Strapped yeah. to the statue. Oh no! Okay. And uh, a a big red Eugene like with horns, yelling okay. something in draconic at her. Matt, uh, you can hear Matt, that it is some sort of uh, chant coming out of his mouth. <clears throat> Angus, okay. while he's listening okay. to the yelling, Here's I'm going to cast a spell really quickly. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's I'm called cool Quick Pants Change. Little. It's just I'm... a thing I want to have active. I'll let you know if I use the ability on it. Okay. I'm going to so... start drinking. Well, what is he saying? <laughs> it's some sort of religious it's, it's chant. It's a chant. Right? Indraconic. It's a religious chant. Okay, I'm going to do the thing where I can see if guys are evil. Is he evil? Do I have to get closer? Let's see. It's for 60 foot range for Tech Evil. Yeah, it's, it's, he's far away. So I will... Oh, I just got to move a little bit. Yeah, we'll uh, go into combat. You know, I don't want to racially move profile. Out. Detect, detect a guy. So, what is he? Oh, you detect he's, there's evil radiating all around the place. Awesome! Maybe. I'm going to do smite the dude. <laughs> smite, him. smite the dude on him. <laughs> so you're wanting to start battle, are you? Okay. Uh, I don't know. Why not? Oh, God damn it. He's evil. He's big. He's red. He's yelling. <laughs> Fair enough. Roll your initiative. Are, are we going to give Elijah what? time to buff up so we don't spend four rounds? With oh, him so standing behind us, like last the, time? The, Look, I said I was drinking. 
<laughs> Twinking his stuff. He's fine. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. can't get on the I'm floor and wait around like that for this boy. I mean, this is Oswald. Also, you, can, I gotta, you gotta give me a second. I don't want to do... Can I help pour things in his mouth? <laughs> I'm gonna help pour things in his mouth. No. Come here. No, give me no you, you can't three do of that. Them. Three of the things you don't know, pour them in your mouth at the same time. Get a no, tentacle it doesn't. No, 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 the no, 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 no. I want to have to roll to see if I can pour things in his mouth. Mm, Look, good his, question. Manos, his ex- manos, his extracts, they, they, they lose charge as soon as they leave his grasp. What does? What? what, uh, what? Uh, alchemists, they use oh, like I a do, really limited kind to, of uh, yeah. potion. If the potion actually leaves the custody of the alchemist, they lose their power. Oh, so it's, it's why he can he can drink his own extracts, but he needs a special feat or ability to actually allow us to benefit from them. Right, like pee, you couldn't drink your own pee, but it, you other people drink your pee, you get bad <laughs> dome stuff, right? That's right. That's the thing. <laughs> so Elijah's got to drink his pee before we go in and beat up the bad guy. Yes, okay, he's I, the only one that can give himself his uh, his 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 I'm urine just vaccinations. What Elijah drink? That'll be fun. We're a D and D. So as you guys are doing, oh your, oh God, God, I just saw you do something. Uh, the chanting stops. Uh oh! And the creature ahead of you seems to be well aware of you in the courtyard. Because they're arguing again. Okay, because look. Of they were. Look out, Elijah. I gotta go do. Gotta go do the paladin thing. One second. <clears throat> Low creature. Uh-huh. Untie that woman from thy statue. I'm doing well good. <laughs> I'm a good guy, and you are a bad man. You're a sibilic, draconic voice. Ah, uh, say, what is this challenge? Matt is translating, I presume. Okay. And then a following, uh... <laughs> you think was that... you can defeat me? <laughs> the mighty Satan. <laughs> I might have switched gods from Brandon to Oswald. <laughs> the mighty Satan? Is he a soft demon? Is Satan? <laughs> don't I mean that's what he said, man. I think he's like this a silky smooth underworld demon. I don't know. I haven't heard he's I haven't slippery. heard of him personally. He's a slippery guy. <laughs> and yes, I am mocking him, Ingus. <laughs> oh, can I do some of that too? Oh, you look stupid. You're a stupid oh wait, I gotta do a man's voice. Ah, you look stupid. You are a stupid red guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Roll your initiative, please. I really hope my lovely dame is cheered up by this. <laughs> she is. They're all this loving it in the chat. Permanent character change to Manos. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Elijah, what was it? Those healing potions you gave him? <laughs> <laughs> ah, all right, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There you go. Don't play this on my healing potions. <laughs> I do type quality. Also, I'm going to delay my turn until last this round, Angus, because I'm still fucking updating my sheet, because I just realized, like, my fucking buff sheet's from fourth level, so it's like, god damn it, so I'm just going to fucking restart from scratch. Oh. Okay, what so happened? Don't worry, I'm almost done. I'm almost Which done. Which one worry. is your initiative? The first one, I'm guessing. Oh, I got No, I try to say that is the worst initiative roll I have ever made. <laughs> Time for me. Dump a dump 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 dump. That was awful. That wow. was the worst one ever. Look at that. <laughs> My oh, dice is screwed. stupid. You're stupid, dice. So How dare we you? You're screwed. We're so very screwed. I should not have handmade dice. No one told me what a 20 sided dice was. I basically took a sugar cube and smashed it. Surprise you didn't. It. <laughs> okay. Surprise you didn't try to eat it. Oh, that's so a good it, idea. If it breaks in half, is that a crit? <laughs> this dice are delicious. Good idea. Now I have no dice. 
Okay. I cast smite at evil, don't I? I get to do. Well, I got away my tone. <sighs> it's, and you're saying you're holding your turn there, uh, Matt. Yeah. No, I'm not. My turn is last. Yeah, just just give me. Yeah, just give me a second. Let let let, let him go. He's got to pour more pee in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Let's Clear. Clear. Yeah, I got to pour more pee in my mouth. I guess I get the chance to chest out this cloak. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I just gotta add one. I just gotta add my new buff. I just gotta add my new buff, and I'm good. So he moves forward. Where are you, heroes? Go away, guys. I sense fire in our future. I sense ice cream in our future. Okay, I'm a a positive monster paladin man. You know what? If we make it out of this, I'll get you all the ice cream we can eat. <gasps> okay, quick. Let's go kill him right now. Okay, I'd say you're both caught in that. Yep. What? In your arrow thing? In the fire. Okay. <laughs> okay, so he's going to breathe at you. Uh-huh. Oh, no. And I do not find a description of the breath for this creature. Where the well, then is. nothing happens. Hooray! Well, oh no, I've got a description uh. of what happens. I just got a description of the t- breath type. Okay. <laughs> so bad breath comes at you. Let's say that. Oh no! What what does that do? Another <laughs> fourteen. Uh, <coughs> cut that out of the garlic, dude. <coughs> yes, it breathes on you. Um, you smell like old oh, whale. Uh, One time, I found a pair of underwear down by the creek, and people told me, don't take that underwear. And I did not listen to them, because they were perfectly fine. So, I don't know, dude. Since it's a breath attack, do I need to roll to hit? The frog breath attacks up. usually allow saves of some sort. Yeah, it's a save. What does it say? Yeah. Uh, Probably reflex. I wore that it underwear for indeed a five reflex. Um, I'm trying to find out where it says it on here. It does not. Oh, no, it does. There we go. Okay, it does have a reflex save. Good luck making it. What did you, you say? Okay. What do we do? Challenge well, accepted, Angus. 21. You're did not I make reach, it? Matt. Oh. Yeah, you just go back to drinking That's your pee. That's a fail. Yep. I will go back to drinking my pee. Okay, I got to do mine. One second. That's my favorite part of D and D is whenever I get a make it. Oh, and and that's a critical. And that's a critical success for saving throw there. Nineteen damage, Jim. Oh yeah, that is a critical success. Does that make me make him smell his stinky breath? He's immune to his own breath. Oh, just like me. Almost all creatures are immune to their own breath. Well, probably, probably, if it was like reflex to half, a critical success would allow you to ignore all of it. I'm ignoring you and your stinky breath. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, then it's uh, Jem's turn. As you reel back a little from the breath, it sort of peels back your skin a little, I guess. So that hurt. Yeah, that's gross. Okay. Go, <clears throat> poor skin, Wed. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I'm going to cast a level three spell. And I have to do this before I start my song so it can actually target you guys. So as the words of magic echo through the air, you all notice the world around you starting to move slower. It's time for that staple of role-playing games. I cast haste. All of you gain plus one to attack, plus one to armor class, well, a plus one dodge bonus to armor class, a plus one bonus to reflex. And whenever any of you make a full attack, you get one additional attack at your maximum attack bonus. So okay. Manos would be able to attack three times on a full attack, and oh. Elijah and I would be able to attack twice on a full attack. Oh, so- also, your movement speeds are increased by 30 or double if your movement speed is slower because of wearing armor. So we can work all over the place. Yes. You are now on magical speed. I, don't, I, oh, no. I say no to Hold on speed. 
moodier. I say no to drugs. That's all good. All right. Angus. I want to push over all Angus, these. I'm ready. Make robots. me a big boy. <laughs> you want to be a big boy? Yeah, make I'm, me a I, big boy. I have to get the right correct grabby thing there first. Okay. By the way, Lady Jeannie's doing the whole uh, damsel, damsel in distress. Oh, save me, save me, save me. Thing. Don't shut up, we'll get to you. Also, real quickly, just want to call this out. I don't believe her either. She's probably in on this. This is probably some dumb <laughs> double sacrifice. Yeah, dumb double sacrifice. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to. I think this. Elijah's right. Elijah is my best friend. We're not done, Jem. Oh no, Jem cast haste. Okay. What? Yeah. You're bunch and, to take a uh, now, are you? So, yeah, let me, actually, let me see. Man. Haste is a haste is a standard action. I could move in closer. I probably don't want to yet. Hmm. Also, I am using my. So yeah, I'll I'll so. intern past Elijah. Okay, so do your thing. Twenty six to hit. Hits. Good. 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 You could do it. What what's happening? What happened? Oh, we were in haste. <laughs> Fifteen. Ah, oh, nice. We love tap. <laughs> okay. So you've moved okay. and you've hit the dra uh, the uh, draconic voice speaker guy. But the more importantly, I gave him race. another Satan. target. Satan. Is it my toad? Can I go, please? Can you I go can now, go. please? I go, smite evil, well, bam! Okay. I smite that evil guy, and also I can move. How far can I move? What can I go? Uh, you're 20 feet with your heavy armor, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, right, 20 feet. So you're yeah. 40. I'm 40. You could do a charge. I could. But you're kind of down. And no, I want to... Like, you, got a free, oh, no, you, you, got a, you got line of sight. I know I do, but I want to... I wanna... Who's doing that? Stop it. <laughs> I'll move here. Clank, clank. I'm here. Okay. No, actually, I'm here. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah I'm still 40 feet. I'm over to there. And um, I think that's all I can. Wait. Smite Evil is a quick action, right? Yeah. Or the fact is a quick action. So I'm going to take out. My bow and arrow, and I'm going to be like, guess what I'm going to do to your butt? It's I say butt. that out loud. Guess what I'm going to do to your butt? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a fun episode of the podcast, that it isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the sibilitic, draconic voice. Oh, don't worry about what I'll do. You'll do to my butt. That's what I'll do to you as after I'm done. <laughs> Why do you Wait, think my head's shaped like back. a dick with horns? <laughs> All right, so I, I'm preppy, prepped up. I'm on. Spoiler alert, it's not going to be the tip. Um, If he was moving into position, could he take his bow out while moving? Which would allow him a single attack, a standard attack? Yeah, can I? Running, though, wasn't he at 40? I was running at 40. Well, no, he's hasted. Oh, that's oh, right. His, his movement is 40. That's All right. right. Let me pull it. Oh, yes, yes. I forgot. Let me see yeah. if I can hit you. Okay, wait a minute. I got to get all my bonuses together because I don't even know. Okay, so I've got uh, two. Oh, no, that's eight. Stop it. Okay, a two. Get eight there. And what was the bonuses from the thing that you did with the haste? Plus one. Plus is one to haste? attack. It's a one. Okay, there's a one. I got that. Okay. <laughs> Every little so one counts. the idea of Oswald being Manos' inner voice. <laughs> okay, so, Manos, this is, this is me. Oswald, you pick me up somehow. I'm like a disease. We're going to put one of the pointy things into him. So let's pick our weapon good. Where is my... Okay, there we go. It's... I'll be honest, that would be like fun schizophrenia. <laughs> <laughs> if like the voice of your head was just like Oswald, that'd actually be like, you know what? This is actually fun. All I don't right. see why All people right. say this is a life-destroying condition. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right, so I'm going to do a thing to make the thing. You're fu- Oh, boy, that's good. All right, ready? And boom, 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 boom. 32. Did that? It'll probably do it. (laughs) Also, it's an evil. Also, this is probably an evil outsider, so you get a nice friendly damage bonus. Is he an evil outsider? Oh, you'd have to find out, but no, you're not getting a bonus on that. Right now, okay, he's not. Personally, my current theory is he's half dragon. (laughs) Well, with him speaking draconic and having a breath weapon. Ah, uh, that's true. So eight pounds, oh, that's twelve, and that's a thing with a thing. So um one D okay, got it. One second. Do de do. I gotta change the dice. Shouldn't have eaten my dice. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I've got that. I hit him for fifteen. Ooh, Angus. Uh-huh. If the target of Smite Evil is an evil-aligned dragon, he also gets his bonus damage. Oh, boy! More damage! So it depends on how dragon this guy is. Yeah, how dragon is he? Is he super dragon? Half dragons are considered dragon types. Yeah, you're going to get that bonus. Okay, let me find out what my bonus is. Just that game. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, yeah, it says it right there. I got stuff against dragons, undead creatures, evil guys. (laughs) So if did you drag two him, points please. of damage per paladin level on the first successful attack increases to holy god twelve. <laughs> so let's see, I so, got that last twenty nine. That was yeah, that was twenty. That was twenty nine. <laughs> twenty nine for that one. Twenty nine. Eh? Okay, let me see. Okay. Uh, calculate it out. <laughs> He yells in his voice in pain. I I told you I was going to do something to your butt. I'm sorry. I told you I was going to do something to your butt. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. The freaking arrow that hits like a Mack truck. Okay, then. Uh, Now it's back to... I like to imagine... I like to imagine right now that Manos is trapped in his own mind and he's just screaming. Like, oh, he's I'm like, let me yeah. out of this prison. There's another thing that I haven't been doing. Uh, and that is, I get a plus two fuck. of deflection bonus to my AC if the guy who I smited is going to try to attack me. So just uh, put that out there for fun. These, there we go. Just letting you guys know. I finally read my stuff. <laughs> Whose tone is it? Oh, it's Elijah's tone. Looks like he sidestepped. Yeah, I'm trying to stay at least 15 feet away because since Manos is over there. Uh, Manus is attacking from range. I don't think you're flanking him quite know, yet. But Manus, you're not flanking him, no. Uh, yeah. I know I'm not flanking him, but if, like, Manus gets in close, I want to be flanking him. Hey, if we're in haste, can we take a ten step? It's no. called strategy. <laughs> uh, no. Five foot step is always five foot step is always five foot step. Sorry. This rule, that's stupid. This game is stupid. In, f- in, in- <laughs> In third, in third edition, when you were hasted, you could take an extra five foot step, but that was oh, third and, edition. And Seventeen. Actually, no, you, that fails to hit. Okay. 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 So uh, it's gonna attack you. Good news, of Jim, we probably have drawn all of the aggro off of you. <clears throat> My rather limited hit point pool. Thanks you. Evil red guy. If you hurt my friend, I will hurt you. You're not going to like this. Don't say it out loud. (laughs) Oh, dear. (laughs) So it's going to take a a minus one penalty on all its melee attack rolls. Who? What? Oh, Oh, no. Does the monster finally have power attack? (laughs) 
Not only does that have power attack, it's going to get nasty. Oh, here comes the whirlwind. Okay. I don't know what that means. What did that mean? What happened? Mm. You can't it, uh, do no it reaches whirlwind. out to bite you, Matt. Uh, Elijah, you've How does it reach out to bite? Did this mouth come I'm off its body? 15 feet away, am I? No, you're 10 at the closest base. No, shit, I moved within 10 feet. 24 hit. Nope, 23, sorry, I forgot the minus one. 23 hit. Yeah. 23 hits, okay. Right. And it's going to reach out with its Wait, claws. wait, wait. How much was... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. How much was the bonus to fucking... With haste? Plus one to your armor class. Plus... Yeah, it hits. Fuck you. Okay. I'm <laughs> going to do the damage later. Fucking I'm doing Vegas. the rest of its attacks now. Because this thing has multi-attack. Oh, look at him. He's got multi-attack. Uh, which means it's a minus two to that. Uh, which is also... There we go. 13, okay. 27 obviously hits. As does 26. And that's with the negatives. You go fuck yourself, Angus. <laughs> I'm gonna like this. You gonna do me dirty like this? Uh, what damage are we gonna do? First one, twelve damage. Second one. So, 34 damage. You can bite off, kill him. If you kill him, I will kill you. Hold on a sec. Fine. Uh, yeah, I'm just pointing out I should maybe have five foot stepped closer to you, but there. <laughs> <coughs> Then he does that. So it's a 34 damage, Matt. I mean, I doubt he's dead, but he's probably hurt. Matt? Oh, you killed him in real life! Oh my god, the game is... I forgot, I'm about, good. The, I'm I forgot good. about the plus two bonus to the damage from power attacks. So 14, 14, 12. So 40 damage. That's fucking nothing. I still got 50 HP left. Suck my dick. <coughs> oh, wait. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, god damn it. I'm reading this further. So, uh, let me see. That's uh, 14, then 13, and 11. 38. Damage. I think. So nothing. Hold on. Oh shit. Are no. they secondaries? Open up a calculator like I did. <laughs> I've just noticed in this. It's I've done the, da the base attack bonus bit wrong. Uh, the penalty. Uh, is he nice. clawing or is he buffeting him with a wing or hitting him with a tail? Biting and clawing. Bites and claws are all primaries. They all have the same base attack bonus. Yeah. So, the damn it, the roll would have been 23, 22. Look, First that roll, doesn't matter. 22 to hit still? Oh, no. Tw well, I forget. Did we have it meat? Meat beats? Yeah. Wait. Like, yeah. 22 hit. So, it's still a hit then. And the bonus to damage increases by plus two, and if they're not secondary, then that's going to be... It's only plus two. Yeah. I hope you guys are happy. You put Oswald to sleep with your math. <laughs> Why did I don't? I was looking at a bug crawling up a wall. So the damage is actually 12, 14, uh, 
16 of them. That's the most awful thing. Is Why? it a nice bug? It's a cute little bug, Logab. 46 so damage, cute. I believe. Eight yeah. little legs. A funny little red thing on his belly. Yeah, 46 damage. I forgot to I'm going to name him Owie because he keeps yeah, fighting my fingers. Nothing. And his turn's done. Okay, so I'm going to use my turn to start my chant. Mm-hmm. So plus two strength to everyone. Uh, everyone also gains... Um, geez, I forgot the names of them. Lesser Celestial Totem and Superstition. What does that do? What, 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 what? Uh, Lesser Celestial Totem is a plus seven bonus to any uh, spell-like or supernatural source of healing or... I think even the extraordinary ones and uh, superstition is plus three to all of your saves. Yeah. Superstition okay. makes a blind black man appear in the corner playing uh, piano. Keep what? Going, I guess. That was really that rough. You mean there's going to be a blind black guy who's going to heal? Is he going to help us fight? <laughs> no, he just plays in the background about how superstitious it is. It's deeply okay. superstitious. Great. Hey, where are you all finished? If it helps, it's funky. Yes. And it's always good um, to fight to funky tunes. Dump the dumb, it's my turn! <laughs> Actually, yeah. I was going to move to, so that we're a bit more spread out. I'm just going to move out over here so that we're a bit more surrounding right. it. You're right. Good. <laughs> and then turns over. You're up. All right, I'm going to cast Magic Weapon. That's going to give me a plus one on both of my things, both on the trying to hit up and then when I hit up. So that's a plus one on both. And then I'm going to take my remaining two things because I get three, right? Do I get three or not? I get three. Um, <laughs> you still only get one standard and one move action, but if you okay. use that for a full attack, you get three attacks. Okay, so, but I'm, then I only have one attack, right? So I only have one? What, one what, was, what did the spell require? Uh, to one standard. So you only have a move and a swift action left. Yep. And you can't use either of those to attack. I can't use a move or a thingy? You I can can't do a move and a swift action, but you can't use them to attack. It, it requires at least a standard action to make an attack. It requires both a standard and a move action to do a full attack. Okay, so I can move. Yes. Okay, can I do like a dance? I'm gonna do dance. Do 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 do. No, I'm not gonna dance. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna put him in a triangle. That's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna move here. I was gonna say we've only seen the dance move work once in a battle. That's right. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm done. I cast the thing and I did a thing. Elijah. So I'm going to full attack so I can get both attacks. Mm -hmm. Try to grab both bites of that apple. Okay. I'm going to go away. I'm going to go away. Oh! And I'm using my morning star. Oh, he's not. not not It means a bit. Also, I figured out something. I've been doing my morning star damage wrong. (laughs) I know. It's not 2d6, it's 1d10. Because I forgot, like, one-handed weapons level up differently. <laughs> so that's ten damage, is it? Yeah. Okay. Give her, give her. Also, I'm, uh, I can still make a five-foot step, right, Jim? Uh, yeah, with a full attack, you can still make a five-foot. Okay, just make it short. Just gonna keep... Try to keep some distance. Okay. As you hit the Oh, wait. Real quickly. Real quickly before I'm also using my spontaneous healing to heal up a bit. (laughs) So that's five. So that's five. That's five points of fucking HP I get back. I keep uh, five points of hit point, uh, five points of HP plus one per alchemist level you have because of my chant. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Then. 19. 
as you hit it, um, the creature disappears. Pee is all gone. Wait, what happened? Not yet. What happened? Where he go? I'm trying Whose to turn is oh. Oops, wrong map, map overlay. There we go. Is that the right one? Was it in the right it's place? Uh, what yeah. happened to the guy? What uh, happens is I'm going to have to use glitter dust. Is a dragon. A young looking oh. dragon. And it looks a bit pissed off. Oh, a baby it's a dragon. Baby. It's a baby dragon. Is that fucking oh, Shinron? You see it before you. Wait, I should see you know this baby dragon? Dragon, which has no wings, uh, but its scales are, where not bloodied and damaged, are jade, and its antlers are growing out of its head. Guys, we have to catch the dragon because we'll get a wish. <laughs> two oh, well, wishes. If it's, Angus, did you say that the? Days. Did you say that the dragon does look injured? Yeah, you've been hitting it. <laughs> okay, so he turned into a dragon. He didn't summon one. So, so we're dating. dealing with uh, either an oracle or a sorcerer. I can't whoa, tell whoa, which wait, yet. Wait. Real quickly, time the fuck out, dude. Time the fuck out. If you're a jade dragon, why were you red? Yeah, what's the boy's that? Why weren't you jade in your normal form? <laughs> is there red? Is there red jade? I think there actually is red jade. Answer all questions, DM. As an expert on polymorphing, I can say that it's rather weird. <laughs> yeah, listen to Wed. She's got a big old brain about polymorph stuff. Cause she's blinking in surprise. She's all over the place. <laughs> as if it didn't expect uh, to be revealed. Okay. So look, it, look, dragon, dragon, dude. I'm not gonna call you by your real name because it's dumb. But, dude, if there's one thing the Grundy Bros are good at, it's killing things unexpectedly. I know That's how you're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel bad. We've killed lots of things by accident all the time. Yeah. Oh wait, I, I'm you know how to... many you know how Don't... many times I've yeah. seen that look on so many people who we we fucking just murdered afterwards. An That's right. Like a bar lot. full of allegorical rape victims. And it's taking a five um... step forward, <clears throat> and it's going to attack. Now let's do this with the actual proper. Uh, 1d20 minus net plus even. 17, but we're minusing 2 for that. Minusing 3 for that, so... 19 doesn't hit. Nope. And you were... So you're actually 13. 15 doesn't nope. hit. 31 does, though. Yeah. And not a critical, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, I'm for... so sad for you, Angus. I know, right? Believe me. <laughs> and uh, let's see, it was plus four for the damage from power attack, so... Um... I remember to scale! 18 hit. Uh, 18 damage. Yeah, that's fine. I still got a net, a net one HP this round. You did nothing, basically. <laughs> and you're going to die of failure. Mm. <clears throat> I'm going to literally grind your bones up and sell them to people for fucking dick pills. I want so, this skull. Can I have this skull, please? So this is I'm bringing all the we're... other bones. It's cool. I'm going to put his antlers on my, on my helmet. Oh, I don't have is, a helmet. Is a knowledge check an actual action, or can I make that just to figure, just a, at the start of my turn? Let me have a quick peek. Oh my god, if I kill him, I know what I'm going to say. I hope I get the killing blow. Fee <laughs> five flow fum. I smell the... I'm going to grind your bones into dick pills. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't vibe. If it's a knowledge <laughs> check... Then, you um, should say B five full it's a build. Reaction. Okay. <clears throat> uh, tch, thirteen probably doesn't tell me. I was gonna just check to see if it actually is a baby or if it's like if it is actually a juvenile, we could probably talk it down. But if it's, I uh, feel weird about killing a baby. 
He's a bad baby, though. Yeah, but bad baby. I mean, the baby yeah, for a green dragon is probably like 200 years, maybe, so they're not that young by our standards, per se. Well, you cannot can I, tell. Can I, Angus, I can figured. I do a free knowledge check? Can I do a free action knowledge check? Because I want to say something about this dragon, but it would be a, it would be like out of meta game. So Wait I want to see your if, turn for it. Okay, because I want to see if Elijah knows this, but technically this isn't a green dragon. Um, just a quick look across the spells to see if I need to use any of them. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, might as well get this over with. Going to charge in. Okay. And power attack. Okay. And... Swing! And 20. Miss. Of course. No, wait. Sorry, 20 hits. Ah. No, wait. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong bit. <laughs> it's a miss. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Reality seems to be flickering for some reason. But what is your crit range? Oh, no. That's the total roll. That's not the dice roll. I know. I'm looking at the dice roll. The dice roll is 10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just looking at the wrong so that's dice just roll. a miss. <clears throat> so it was a miss. Mm-hmm. So I have a question. Yeah? Am I flanking him? Mm-hmm. You're miles away. If I'm you not miles charged away. In, <laughs> if you charged in with your melee weapon, you would be flanking him, but you can't flank with a ranged a weapon. Without a... I can Yeah, I can I mean, there, there's a feat for it for a ranged specialist, but you probably don't have it. I'm not that. Okay, I'm going to take my full attack. I'm going to attack him with three. Three arrows right into his butthole. <laughs> okay. Guard your butthole, dragon. All right, so I'm going to do with the thing. First attack. Oh, is that hit? No. Nope. Did that hit? Nope. Okay. Second attack. Does that hit? Mm, meat beats, so yeah. Yay! Third attack! Oh, me and the dragon have the same AC. We're like oh, AC wow. bots. Uh, your third attack would have your penalty on it. What's my penalty? Minus five for iterative. Oh, okay, so that one doesn't even come close. So I only have once. Okay, that's fine. Alright, just a second. I gotta do a calculation in my head, and I'm not good at math. Well, okay, the dragons so have to poop, Micro. Oh, it's the same. Okay, good. Yeah, my girl, dragon's got poop. And oftentimes it's gemstones, so be careful where you mine. 17 on that one hit that I did. Okay. Calculator out. Okie dokie. Well, the problem with trying to equate dragons with lizards if they have a cloaca is because they also have some mammalian properties. Also, you gotta remember, dragons. All dragons can polymorph into other creatures. So, also, you gotta remember that dragons are made up. You stupid scientist guy. So it doesn't <laughs> actually it doesn't actually matter what actual genitalia dragons have in their natural form. They can just they can yeah. just trans- well, That's why we have all those sorcerers running around because of dra- draconic bestiality. Yeah, dragons Dragon. like fucking humanoids. They're weird. <laughs> is it my turn again? It is. Okay, I'm a five foot step to here, and I hope so. I hope you see what I'm doing, Jim Shin. Just trying to help you out, and I'm gonna do my two attacks. Hits. Okay, okay, good, 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 good. Misses. Doesn't hit. Good. I'm fine. I'm fine as as long as one of these are hitting. <laughs> Also, again, doing my fucking healing. So I'm back up to 70 HP. Is that the 15 damage, is it? Yeah, that's 15 damage. So I did good on that damage. Too bad I didn't get a crit. Okay. It, uh... Also, I'm going to be nice, Angus, and I'm not aiming for the head. Because... <laughs> 
Because Man, Manswald wanted the fucking skull. I My name is not Manswald. I'm Manos of Oswald. <laughs> I'm Manos of Oswald now. It's taking a five foot step away. Uh, it's limping slightly as you've damaged That's it. That's right, you big stupid. And it, uh, I'm sorry, I lo- have to say that. It looks away That's right, his, you big stupid. As if hearing a voice. Screeches and then flies off. Well, how? Manos, Ed, no, Manos. it's not. Attack of how opportunity. How does it fly off with no wings? I was about to say, Elijah's got a, an attack of opportunity. You'd have to ask the Chinese that. I'm guessing this is what this was based off, the Chinese dragons. Okay, so uh, where does the where's China in in where was this place? The Dragon yeah. Empire, please. It's a big island off the coast. Okay, I at least hit him. You hit. Giving it a parting shot. Get back here, you fuck. God damn it. Okay. Uh, it's flying overhead. I don't have an attack of Abatonuto. No, you don't. It's not within reach. Well, give that, me that's one, another yeah. thing. If you want to specialize yeah. in range, you need a feat for it. Oh, okay. It. Uh, that's why a lot of people don't play range. You need a lot of I only feet. have two feet. <laughs> As it flies off, it screeches and breathes down up. At you, Matt. Make a reflex. Da 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 da. Fuck you. <laughs> Fucking salty ass bitch. Did you say that in eloquent draconic? You failed your reflex. Yeah. I don't care. It ain't gonna kill me. Ain't gonna fuck himself. Twenty four damage. So it peels the skin from your uh, from your arm of its breath. It's not a, it's not a black Ooh. dragon, so it doesn't. And do really an and it's stuff, gross. It flies off and buggers off. Well, Where? if it's a if it's a black dragon, it's acid, and if it's a green dragon, it's a slightly different kind of acid. <laughs> what if so it's yeah, a gray, this is a, gray yeah, dragon? This, is a, this isn't a chromatic dragon. It's an imperial. You dragon. know, it's a jade Chinese mm-hmm. dragon, so it's soy sauce. True. So they have. Like, they have like different weirder breath it's weapons got, and so he thought breath. Okay, um, probably like yeah. wood breath or yeah, something. If it's yeah, doing got, an attack as it's flying off, breath. Jason, you can make a, an attempt at it. Yay! I will shoot you. You're stupid, and I hate you. Okay, one second. Let me do it. I'm going to do Let's it. See, it's a moving target, so should I actually give you a penalty for it? You bet. Uh, you might, because I rolled a twenty-two. Just let him have it, please. <laughs> I want to shoot it, and it's. I don't want this. Oh, fuck. I don't want this asshole getting away. Hmm. Although, if this dragon does get away, this would technically be the first recurring villain. Still. <laughs> now I'm uh, torn. Just having a quick check. Angus, did you have more planned out than this? Mm-hmm. He's your battle. Okay, because cause one, we kind of went through that a little fast, but at the same time, it's like, you know what? It was a young dragon, so. <laughs> yeah, I will say the one little critique, one little critique, it's Angus. The old uh, as soon as as soon as it went back into its dragon form, it just should have immediately went into the air and just started fucking lobbing shit at us. Possibly. <clears throat> but we'll see. Uh No, there isn't a pe- no, I won't put a penalty on. Roll damage. Okay. Roll full with the gee dope Okay. It screeches at you. I put it in his private. <laughs> That's a different roll. <laughs> <laughs> That's a harder roll if you're aiming. 
Or well, I don't know where privates on a dragon are, so they could brew anywhere. It's Bye, dragon. In the air. Sorry. Goodbye, uh, dragon. Okay, so now I want to I want to ask something that I've been meaning to ask, but you know, we had to deal with combat immediately. Is this bitch in fucking blackface? <laughs> <laughs> She is. I tried to edit her Wait, to be I will, exactly I will as a lady I will, as Jenny me, is. I'm gonna go show. put in it talking to people. I'm gonna talk. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to talk it. Why? <clears throat> also, Manswald, well, you might want to detect evil on her, just in case, you know. Good idea, detect evil. There is no evil on her. Okay, I'm gonna ask a question now. <clears throat> Bitch, are thou in blackface? Oh, oh no! What are you saying? Is what is the blackface? Is it some type of Ulrich? Is she tied up with rope? Yes. Just a second, lady. Let me and untie the rope reason, thing. When I did her voice, my I had my arms up as if they were tied. <laughs> I was doing the voice. Method acting. Yeah, I'm, I'm You're a method my actor, axe. Angus. Like... I'm using my axe. <laughs> Yeah, take, You're the Daniel Day-Lewis of your generation. <laughs> I go, this. there, there, lady. There, there, lady. We smashed up that dragon good for you. Thank you. I didn't know it was a dragon. I just knew it was Satan. Oh, oh, okay. You know how much money I could have gotten for those fucking bones? I'm really upset now. <laughs> well, Hey, hey, lady! What happened? Why, why are you tied up with dragon? I don't know. He was just—I was talking to my brother, and you know, back and forth with the letters and the things, and he was doing some weird stuff, and the Satan came along. Yeah, said he'd help us out. You know, we were struggling a little bit. I was about to lose my castle. To who? Well. Time, deprivation. I don't have the money to keep it up, you know. Man, we gotta fight time next. <laughs> How are we gonna do that? <laughs> okay, that makes I some sense. Like, I was, I, I was more questioning. Like, is there a fucking bank? <laughs> I couldn't help notice that the. <clears throat> Excuse me, lady. I couldn't help notice that that uh, dragon person kind of looked like you and your brother. Yeah, she what wouldn't, about he wouldn't that, have been lady? related to either of you, would he? Are you part no. dragon? I'll beat you up now. <laughs> no, no, he's, he's not related to us. He just came in and he looked like he was one of us. Where uh, is your brother? Yeah, let's be honest. Like, he's probably dead. Let's be honest. Like, the, the, the dragon probably killed him, took his place. Because that's what dragons fucking do. Your brother's dead. I'm sorry, lady. You always take the darkest turn, Matt. Yeah, because, like, I'm a realist, okay? I know yeah, this is a magical everyone, fantasy world. He's the smartest of everybody, so we're all gonna... Th yeah, he's... Yes, he's dead, just like Elijah said. <laughs> see? <laughs> and he's and big. Agrees with me. So you see brain tears is, starting to drip down her skin, which you notice what? is slightly felty in appearance. What 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 drips down her skin? Tears. Oh. Hey, lady, don't cry. <laughs> me, me, you You're just not dead. Oh, <laughs> well, look, bitch! We live in a world with magic. You're, you're like you have a castle. You can scrape together enough for like a resurrection spell, or at least fucking reincarnation. You can come back as a little kobold or something. Yeah. Also, we killed a lot of orcs. We could sew them together and make you a new brother. Or I that, any you can take her out fucked up out. But like, you know, you like know lady, guys. Like, which would you rather have, your brother or a castle? Like, you gotta make, you gotta make, also, why do you both have castles? You should just consolidate, have one castle. Like, that's what you could do. Like, you could resurrect your brother with the proceeds from selling the one castle and just live in this fucking castle. They're both fucking shitholes. Um, Elijah? Yeah, with she the times. A, a piece of her brother to do that, and I don't see him lying around anywhere. Uh oh, guys, guys. No. Um, I think real man. I mean, I've had a free, like, I've really had a free. 
to be let out now. So real Manos has to come back. Real Manos has to step in at this point. <laughs> you see that snot is starting to run down her felt, uh, felty face as well as she's ugly we, we, cries. Okay, I'm going to... He's really angry, so I'm going to step aside for just a second. <laughs> <laughs> Elijah, shut up. <laughs> All right. Look, I'm just speaking truth to power, brother. I understand that. Take take a five. Shrink down. Drink something. <clears throat> what is her name? Lady Genie. Lady Genie. Is she fair, Lady Genie? How big is she? We've never really gotten a description of her. Describe her, please. She uh, looks like the female version of Ujin. Great. Does she have legs and a body? That's what I want so to like, know. Does that mean that Ujin is very beautiful or that she's very handsome? <laughs> um, she is uh, felty in appearance. Uh, her skin looks like it's made of felt. Okay. Um, she does have a body. Right. She is... Um, she's How tall is she? About four foot six. Okay. She's a four foot six black felt person. <laughs> Googly eyed <laughs> thing. Is it? I mean, I asked before it's if uh, Ujin was a poppet, but Inga said no. Lady Ujin, just well, some quick questions. He's not what are you? <laughs> Puppets are manipulated. Hey, Angus, oh, real quickly, is there enough dragon blood on the ground for me to fucking scrape some into some vowels for, you know, reasons? It's probably contaminated by now. Look, I don't care. I'll, I'll like fucking, I'll throw some vinegar <laughs> or something in there. Great. Maybe bowl a little bit. I don't Shut like. It'll All right, be fine. we don't need to know what you're gonna do. What crazy, gross things you're gonna do? All right, the Lady Uji. You said you were approached by this entity. Yes. It... <laughs> Did it approach you here in the castle, or was it from somewhere else? Hold on, that store I give her a fucking me. handkerchief. Here, take this. <laughs> that store take actually hurt my throat. Hold on. Good job, Ang. Good job, Manos. You're basically giving her a hunk of flesh to wipe her fucking sadness away with. What? Oh, oh wait a minute. I walk over to. I walk over to. I'm gonna walk over to Elijah. Okay, fine. Have... You're gonna. You're gonna play that game, and since the skin's peeling off your arm, I rip off the skin off his arm. Here you go. Oh, wow. That I would take as an alignment changer. No, it's not. It's dead no, skin. Honestly, no, it's not. Uh... It's a jerk move, but it's like, shut up. <laughs> Here, I have it's a choice. Cloth, cloth or skin? Which one do you prefer, Lady Ujin? Well, skin's a bit not very absorbent. I. Okay, then cloth it is. Here you go. I go back, and I put the skin back on Elijah's arm. There you go. Oh, and I lay on hands on him, too, so it can heal up. There. <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> Lady Uji, yes. did the end put you here at the castle? Yeah. Did it say anything about where it was from? Well, it said it was from the homeland. Where's your homeland? Up north. How far north, and can you give us directions from there? Oh, it's about a month's travel. A month's travel? Yep. Did we notice what direction the dragon went? Uh, you were busy shooting at it. Uh, it kind of flew off northeast-ish. Hmm. All right. Cry your eyes out. And also, don't listen to Elijah. Your brother may not be dead. We don't know that for certain. Well, there's no body. We have no body. We have no body for him. Elijah likes to speak his mind. It totally he totally is. Shut <laughs> up. Last we saw him, he was headed back to town. That's look, right. I'm the our... closest. Look, I'm the closest this group has to a doctor. And in my professional doctor opinion, he did. I'm just... Listen, um... The last we knew, we had sent Ujin to, to Keralt with our people. He may be there, safe and sound, eating whatever you oogie people eat. My diagnosis is he's dragon shit. He has nothing to base that on. <laughs> oh, look. You've seen Eugene. We I saw Eugene. Eugene sent us here. 
Satan. I'm pretty sure if I look around this castle enough, I'll find some pretty silky smooth dragon poops. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna Well, Ujin was here, but then we were chasing down a ogre that was dragging uh, away a bunch of people and of slaughtering them in the basement. One. And then when we took care of the ogre, we convinced Ujin to leave the castle because there were ogres around. Yeah, so there is a distinct possibility that he is alive. Mr. Satan, he said the ogres were friendly. The ogres were not friendly. They were going to help me with my troubles. Yeah, that was Well, it's obvious he was lying. This is the same thing that tied to the statue. When we saw them, they were doing considerably less stonework and considerably more human butchery. So... Trust us, we're good guys. I mean, mostly, mostly. Good <laughs> Mr. Mr. Satan said you had to make a big sacrifice. Well, uh, okay, what kind of big sacrifice? I don't know. He okay. Was... Are you here all by yourself now? Is there no one here? There's no one. I'm Hit, all you... alone. Oh, God, she's turning into Miss Piggy. We got to do something. <laughs> I got it. I got it. You just fractured uh, a put one in the back of her head. Miss, Shut up. Miss, uh, Miss U- uh, what was it? I guess Uji. Miss, Miss Uji. Miss Genie. 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 Miss Genie. Do you like little fluffy animals? Would you like a little comfort animal while we, we take you to the village to, to find your brother? Fluffy's tasty, yes. She said tasty. Uh, I, I don't know how edible they are, but they are very friendly. Mm. Angus, roll a d100. Jeez. <laughs> mm. I'm telling you guys, we might have to just mice and men her. We're not. We're not. Uh. <laughs> okay, what do we roll? That, which would be. Like, a... she might end up strangling. Uh. Okay, uh, this might not be the cutest thing in the world. So I reach in the bag, I pull out a li- my uh, bag of tricks, I pull out a little ball of fur, and I give it a toss at her. And when it she catches it, it unfolds into a cute little bat. <laughs> she just ate, she ate the bat. She, she ate the bat. I've not been fed for this. Well, they're, they're made of... They're not really alive, and they're kind of made of magic, so she's not going to gain any calories off of it, at least. Um, I don't know if we should take her back to Coral because we are surrounded by squirrels. <laughs> I do not know how well she'd re- react. Well, Manos, trust me, squirrels are insanely would react. Yeah, hard to Mercy, catch. Mercy kill seems pretty good right now, doesn't it, Shut Manos? Shut up! <laughs> We can escort you back to Coralt and perhaps find your brother there. Is that something that you would like to do, Manus, Genie? Manus, sometimes the kindest option with an animal is to end its misery. This is not That's what the head of PETA said. This is PETA, a sentient creature. I don't give a fuck what PETA says. This is it's a like sentient creature. The last time I tried to hunt any of the squirrels around Coralt, I got told off by Tufty pretty badly. He kind of keeps an eye on them. Against the law now. <laughs> also, Mon, sorry, you want to change what you just said? Because she just killed an animal. That seems pretty Lenny like behavior to me. Well, uh, I mean, the, the stuff that comes animal, out of bags of tricks, they, they're, they're not really the animals. All I'm saying, like, guys, all I'm saying is we need to keep her away from slutty women in fucking floral dresses. Who have abusive, dickhead, tiny boyfriend slash fiancés? It's a very specific thing we have to keep her away from. But what? Again, Manos, I'm not putting her down. This is your lost his fuck mind. I have no idea. (laughs) None of you have read the great uh, the great piece of American literature of mice and men. Yes, we have. I go well, get I some mean, things first. Oh no, Tufty loves it when you what hunt the rabbit. He hates get, them. Madam? I will. I will send Red to collect them for you. I mean, it's, I'm just gonna get you dressed. And this will stay Red. Spoiled. Red, you're you're a woman, I guess. Can you please fetch her her things so yes. that we may escort her to Coralt? Okay, I'll go grab it. Do I need to tell you? Do what? 
I mean, I kind of need to tell you what you want. Okay, well, you tell her, you? tell us what she wants. So she points out what she wants, and well, uh, actually, Fen comes back up carrying the dresser on her shoulders. I think Holy we're good. Because <laughs> remember, I have, I have, I have, I have cords of mule back, the the mule back cords, so I can carry a shit ton. So she's just the little. She, I turned back into Fen, by the way, because I'm not just around you guys, and she still doesn't want to be open around so, other people. Jeannie, are you a queen or a princess or a duchess or I'm a... just a lady? Your lady Jean. Lady Jeannie. And My your brother? brother? Is the count. Is... Wait, did I make him a count? Count your Jean? Yes. I don't remember. It's the count. count. Yeah, what is he the count of? Well, I mean. How did your people wind up down here? Well, we fled. There was Fucking noise count the and two battle. Castles. You know, there was a battle and you fled here for safety? Yes. I mean, all these people came out and I don't know. It was my mom and dad disappeared. Oh, dear. Oh, mm-hmm. dear. Shut I up. I gingerly the set the dresser down That's and start the... looking through it. Eugene just told just us we follows have to you to save ourselves. So like we're a stray animal. I have a question. Does she have tits, or is she just like a sock? <laughs> oh, you just fu- are you gonna fuck this one too, man? <laughs> I just need a clear picture of what she looks like in my mind. <laughs> if you want, I'll draw you a picture later. All right. Fine. Now, Manos, there are a lot of different kinds of women. I could show you several of them if you'd like. Please, no. <laughs> Let's see. Can I get this right? Uh... Folks, I will put this in the Discord if it turns out okay. All right. So let's escort her back to Keralt. We need to check in and let's see what's going on in Keralt anyway. You know what? I'll throw, I'll throw a picture into the Discord, Angus. I'm pretty sure oh, come this on. is what Manos wants it to be. <laughs> no, I don't want it to be anything. I just don't know what she looks like. And the best part is, like, Jason's not going to be able to see because he can't It's an established trait that Manos is always on the outlook for a mother for Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a good excuse. <laughs> no way. No, I can be the shoulder again. Yeah. We don't have time for you to draw anything right now. Come on. <laughs> uh, Angus is having fun. Love him. Oh, dear. Man, he's delaying so that he has to pull up the Corralt map and he doesn't know where it is. Okay, so... um. This is uh, what she looks like. Oh, it's Lane. I'm gonna. I don't have Discord thoughts. open, so I don't know what she looks like. So you just let's go on Skype too. Oh, goody! <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> oh, where is it? There it is. Um. Okay. So, uh, Jeannie the... is uh, what? Getting... <laughs> Does she have a vagina for an armpit? <laughs> She's kind of like a, uh, a. What are what are her eye hands? What are those? Nipples. She is, <laughs> that would be something that you need to describe earlier. That she has nipples for hands. <laughs> no, she she generally um, she's not mammalian, so. Okay. We Maybe don't know what she is. Really, part of it. Okay. She's just a thing. She's a thing. She's just not mammalian, dude. Humanoids don't have to be mammalian. She's made of felt. What is she? A she has a mouth, so she's not one of those aesthetic things that doesn't need to eat. Um, she just ate a bat. True. <laughs> so anyway, while, while she tells you not to look and gets changed inside the dresser that you've brought... Yeah, we might see her felt. You hear <laughs> clunking. I did post it to Discord Yab. Didn't I? Did I post it to the wrong one? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I put it to match by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, they've seen weirder on there. <laughs> anyway, 
So, um, yeah, she's getting changed. She hears, like, metallic clunking. Oh, God. <laughs> Ratcheting. Uh, and then she just comes out and she's in full plate armor. Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> it's the traditional <laughs> dress of my people. Full plate armor is the traditional dress of your people? <laughs> and walks up to the dresser, looks inside. I didn't think it was that heavy. <laughs> well, it's got to be a lot lighter now. <laughs> well, Let me ask you something, Jeannie. Are shoulder. you proficient in weaponry? No. I, was that a yes or a no? What mm. was that? No, okay. All right. But you are you are armor proficient, I take it. Well, I just wear this. I don't actually fight. Okay, As great. As Count Eugene does, he f- protects me. Okay, well, he, what a and great job. I'm back with hot dogs. <laughs> Armor hot dogs? <laughs> Question, Angus. Oh, how fast oh, no. can Count Genie actually move wearing the plate armor? 20 feet. Hmm. Can we please make our way to Keralt? Really? Oh, man, it's Mary's. Or... That I'm just be- going to marry yes. the weird sock lady. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to Kral. Let me just uh, archive a few of these to get them out my way. Oh, I hope Kral is full of dead links to graphics. That'd be great. (laughs) (laughs) And let's pump you back into Kral. Should have given you the map for the Manos homestead. Or the, you know, the Grindy Bros homestead. Mm. Um... Let's see, where do we want you? Let's go with... Do we want that one? No, not yet. Uh, Okay, I know which one I'm sticking you in then. Hot dogs, I'm a hot dogs. Oh, (laughs) it's love, I'm a hot dogs. Fat kids, stupid kids. Okay, you Uh, see things are busy. And uh, Keralt, oh, get rid of the turn armor. You know, you were right, Manos. It was a lot lighter after she took the plate armor out of it. Uh, yeah, see? Okay, let's stick you in. Uh, oh, look, it's a big wall. Boopy. I almost so where are we? Mistake. By the way, remember, I have, I have the fucking, I have, like, the hand of the, the dwarf. What? You have the what? Casanundrun? Remember we found, like, the hand of, like, one of the people that... Yeah, him. You mean the dead dwarf So we can resurrect him. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're back in Corral. You are back in Corral, and you can see that there are... um, The wall has been steadily being built. Impressive. And it's a good uh, uh, two meters thick. Yeah. But it's not very Thanks. high yet. It's only about three feet high. Well, and for a short amount of thing, it's extending outwards. But it's take, going to take time. Who are all these people over here? So what you see is a set of uh, rundown tents and people. They look exhausted, terrified, hungry, famished, um, and they're just laying around and moaning in fear. Or, you know, that. Right. Not in fear, just... sorry. Yeah. And uh, they're just sort of a. Uh, they're there. They're, they don't look like they want to be there. They're just uh, staring off into the distance a lot. All right. I'm going to approach this dude. Okay. Do I recognize him at all? Is he one of the people that we saved? Uh, no, no. He is. Um... How am I going to describe this? Remember, we've been in Coralt for a while, so there should be every. We should know everyone by sight at this point. Mm-hmm. You said Coralt was not heavily populated. It wasn't. You've been gone a couple of weeks, two, three weeks in this. Yes, one? two or three weeks. So you see um, that the man in front of you is. Um, he is wearing a tribal dress. Headdress. Um, he uh, has blue eyes, his brown skin. Um, in fact, all the people all? that you see here generally are different skin color to the people of Keralt. All right. Hail! Knowledge Strang- Local 23 for geographical Did you drink, um, Firewater? 
Did you have to be racist, Matt? Yes. Not, I thought I'd give you control as well. I guess not. Hold on. No, you didn't. Uh, knowledge local twenty three for figuring out uh, you know the the origins of some of these people. Right. You could tell that uh, these people come from a sort of uh, desert. Why am I looking at Manos' sheet? I don't want that. Go away. Go away. Um, you could tell that these people come from a sort of desert lifestyle. Um, they're carefully It's impressive water. that they imported part of the desert to put in the town. Um, and they've come a long way. Mm. Why is this not letting me do it? Matt, you should I stayed as much to the party. Um, unusual seeing these people so far north. North? South. South. So far south. The desert is to the north from where you are in. Thingy. Hail, strangers. I am Why Manos of Parole. Talking, come on, Roll20. Do your fucking shit. Continue to mumble about things that I don't know about. Mother. Fucker, why is it not? Let me do it. Arrgh. Right. Okay, so why? What? No! <laughs> Fuck off! I did not want Manos' sheet. <laughs> My sheet's I imagine GM view looks fascinating right now. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> fuck off. Roll 20. Someone gave roll 20 amphetamines again. No, Micro, apparently they come from the land up under. Yeah, no, you should have control, Matt. Your dino's having control. I don't know. Like, look, Angus, <laughs> I, haven't been, uh, like, I haven't been trying to move my character for yeah, like... Yeah, he hasn't really. <laughs> also, I don't have control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, should do a crunt to roll 20. Well, I can't move. Well, according to Rule 20, you should be able to because you've got the same rights as everyone else does to the characters. Let's, let's count our blessings and, and move forward, shall we? Shall we? I don't know if I want him to be moving around right now. Oh, now it's given me the fucking choice. There we go. Now you'll have it. Yeah, now I can move. Great. Hail, stranger. I am Manos of Coralt, and these are my boon companions. <laughs> I recognize you. He cowers. He cowers from seeing it, yeah, from from you approaching this armed man approaching. Um, he doesn't know you. Uh, he's there. All the people are kind of warily watching okay. you. So this is where I need to interject. Manos is a paladin that gives off an aura of good wherever he goes. Except that most people can't feel it. You're going to have to use diplomacy to get along with people. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to cast Honey Tongue. Or that. What? Oh, you dirty bitch. <laughs> One second. Let me find out if what the what Honey Tongue does. Perform uh, oratory for yeah. versatile performance diplomacy. Ooh, that'll help. Roll, roll two Finn dice. Gingerly Easy. sets down the thing she's carrying. Hey, don't be afraid. He's a real nice guy. Uh, honey tongued. Honey tongued is a plus two to. I roll two dice, and it doesn't say what dice though. Let's see. Probably two d20s. Yeah. Roll two dice a, when using diplomacy, take the higher roll. Yeah. So two, roll two d20s, take the one that's rolled better. Okay. So, right. uh, yes. Um, it's your diplomacy check you're making. So you yeah. roll two d20 and, add, uh, and uh, add your, you know, diplomacy add check. Add my diplomacy check, right. One second. And the highest one you take. My or diplomacy. you can use it to make a diplomacy check to gather information, but you're not doing that this time. Or maybe you are. Mm. Well, I want to get these people to trust me so they'll talk to me. Okay, there's the first one. The second one, I'm taking the second one. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> 20 might work for an improve... Uh, improve Reaction. Please do not cower. We are not here to hurt you. I am Manos of Cranko, or Paladin. These are my boon companions. Red, a thing that I can't describe. And Elijah. 
It's Finn. Well, I'm sorry, and Finn, the little girl. <laughs> now. God damn it. <laughs> She's shown you who she is. She hasn't I shown know. anyone else. I'm playing along, aren't I? <laughs> who are you? Strange? Also, in case the is a roll of 20 doesn't work, Finn rolled a 31 for diplomacy for improved attitude. Okay. So he seems to uh, visibly relax. The people around are still are relaxing a little on seeing him relax, but they're still wary. Uh, what voice shall I use? Please take your time. <laughs> you are a paladin, yes? I am. Oh, you give me shit for being racist, and then you do that. What? <laughs> you fucked. <laughs> well then. Oh no. Uh, we. We are from far north. Where the desert sands blow. Far north from the desert. Where the desert sands blow. We're from the desert in the north. Did you escape the north to come here to see shelter and corrals? Well, we fled. There is much evil happening up north. Many so monsters we're led... arrive. So we're led to understand. Um, are you starving? Have not the people of Coralt reached out a hand to aid you? They've helped us. Our... our... Our leader has been talking to them. You best go speak to her now. Where is your leader? She in tent. Well, she's beside the tent. Um, and it's off screen. She's b- okay, that's off screen. Um, be- before we head out, I whispered to Manos, um, I think there's a little thing I can do for them to provide them with a little food if you want. Please do. Just for the time being. No, please. Okay. Fen marches forward and I use spell kenning. And I use the third level cleric spell, create food and water. Okay. Which calls down a divine feast, enough food and water to sustain three humans or one horse per caster level. So enough food for 21 people. Or two ponies and five midgets. <laughs> or <laughs> the people a start. cobalt and two dwarves. Yeah, people look at the food and look at, uh, at you, Fen. Uh, just a little trick. Something to help you all out. A bit of good... A uh, bit of... Uh, dang it. We're My exuding good right me. now, so, yeah. A bit of aid on behalf of our friends here at Keralt. The man looks at the Manos for assurance. It's perfectly fine. And if any of you want drugs... <laughs> Please do not... Please come to me. Please, Elisha. Please. I'd be Look. careful about the stuff he sells. The last guy who took his is I think he called it speed. He he ran around real fast and then lit on fire. I I don't know what happened. Did he point to where this lady is? Yes, he did. Meanwhile, okay, the let's... guy did uh, looks worriedly at uh, at Elijah and then speaks to his people in their in their tongue, uh, which none of you understand. Uh, and they start to divvy up the food, uh, taking it into their tents so they can feed the children. All right. Excellent. Where's the lady? She is off page. Let's just say you go see her. This is what I was testing out to maybe try uh, as something and that's new. my spell kinning and my last third level spell for the day. <sighs> oh. Yes, I'm trying we something We enter a, new. a milky white void. <laughs> you are... You shouldn't be seeing a milky white void. Oh, wait, no, I got a... We blocked a risky connection. <laughs> what? That's what I got. So you're not seeing the face? No, I'm not. Anyone else seeing the face? I'm seeing a face. I'm I don't seeing see the it. face. It's I'm short. not seeing the face. So Blue you're... eyes, turban, beaded nope. headdress... That's all I need. White dragon. Uh, some sort of ceremonial paint across the eyes, I imagine. Or, mm-hmm. okay. no, that would probably be to block out the sun. She's got a, a kind of a darkened paint across underneath her eyebrows to above no, her No, my McAfee, my McAfee blocked it. Your McAfee is blocking rule 20. Huh. No, it's blocking just this. When you chained, when you switched, it, the, the block came up. 
Um, that's freaking weird. Yeah, it is the computer weird. is freaking weird. Noticing it's the. I mean, I I changed the picture and paint net, but that's all right. Yeah, there is no virus in here. Your Mac, your Mac, McAfee is shit, by the way. Um, I'll take a print screen and drop it in Skype. You shouldn't be getting blocked on this page for roll twenty. Mm. So Angus, what did you learn? There you go. Any anything, anything has got okay. Never I try anything new. <laughs> oh, hello. This woman uh, imposedly uh, imposingly stares down at you, Manos. She is about six. She's uh, like um, oh, what is the name of that tribe again in Africa? The tall ones. Like Manos would know that. <laughs> That was an aside to myself. I can't remember what they're called. But she's about six foot three, six foot four. Hail, lady. I am Manos of Coralt, and these are my boon companions. Uh, what's your, what are you going by again? Finn. True. I'm Finn right now. Finn. Finn, the dainty, and Elijah. <laughs> Out of character, it's, it's Finn like Fennec, like a Fennec fox. Got it. Get it? <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Good. Work great. Right. What okay. brings you and your people to our land, lady? Who are you to speak about this? Never mind. We flee the evil that comes the great evil from the north. Just imagine this a great, feminine voice. Would this great evil happen to go by a name? It is an unnamed evil. It rises dead. It raises the dead. Ooh, that is evil. That's pretty evil. It but it happened to have green scales. The further north than we have. We have not seen these likes for a long time. Are you familiar with the names Count Eugene and Lady Jeannie? Not Lady Jeannie, but there was a Count Eugene who came with all the people. They started building. Then were they enemies of yours? No. Hmm. We had never seen the, this Eugene person before. All these people, we fled. Ever grabbing what we could from our... We just hope our nation of tribes is alive still. I see. So I'm feeling uncomfortable with the way you're talking, but... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to do an African uh, accent. I yeah. understand. So, <laughs> handsome lady... Everybody's dead. Have you been treated well in Coralt since your arrival? These people, they took us in. They can't of spend course. much, but they took us in. Good. We will try to remedy that. Try to provide you with more food. Um, lady, could you give us directions to your land? For it seems that what you're in need of are heroes. And <laughs> as much as you may not believe it, that's that's what we are. I know it looks like a paladin, a little girl, and a maniac with tentacle. But, I mean, that's, well, that's what we do. Well, healing has one game. tentacle. Th those other two things are arms, I think. I said tentacle. Ah, you are the, the Grindy sisters, is it? We're the Grind Grindy bros. Don't, you have to ignore... It was a name that was established before we brought a woman into the group, okay? I'm kind of an honorary member. <laughs> yes. I have heard we, of you, of the great had... Tufti. Which one of you is the great Tufti? The great... Fuck you. Oh, DM, ben how dare you? The back. <laughs> hey, Tufti! <laughs> He's probably around here somewhere. He did join us for our adventures briefly. Briefly. <laughs> yeah, he actually didn't do all that much. If anything, it was more of a burden, because he was a dumb fucking squirrel. That is he kept so many squirrels in he, he had this fixation with centipedes. But we were honored to have him join our party for a brief period of time, yes. <laughs> I wasn't. That's not nope. a unanimous. He does not decision. speak for everyone. Lady, we would be more than yeah, happy. You to know who I do speak? I speak for the trees and the fish because I'm the Lorax. Finn the gives Elijah a little nudge in the gut. Uh, he's a very nice squirrel that probably has eyes and ears everywhere around the town. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> With whom I we know. have brokered Tuffy's a like, treaty. Those little bastards on you. <laughs> I go out of my way every day in this town. Every time I see a squirrel, I tell them, tell Tufty to go fuck himself. Love Elijah. <laughs> Except I don't add the love part. 
<laughs> I see Whoop. your cleric of the town. Yeah, mentioned yeah. the group, your group, your adventure group. Yes. Oh, I'm trying to make this less racist, but it's not working. It's too late. Anyway, <laughs> we would be happy to travel to your to your homeland to try to free it from this evil. We've met others who have been displaced by it as well. Yes, well, you may want to speak to the cleric. Oh, good. The cleric. He, he's Thank you. He's very good, like, talking to me about things. This one suggests involving in the clicks. You the might want to stop while you're ahead. <laughs> let's let's go to speak with the cleric, shall we? Thank you, lady. We will inquire to see if we can't increase the amount of aid that your people are receiving. Thank you. It is very you're good. Welcome. My people try to help with the manual tasks, but we are very weak. Yes, I understand. Hopefully we'll be able to strengthen you up. Thank you so much for the offer of assistance. Thank you. Please, please stop talking. All right, I let's... Uh... I just talk constant. That's all I do. My voice okay, will follow good. you all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go see Cleric. Finn, hoist the dresser back up on her shoulders. <laughs> Okay, because we still have that. This is the only two characters I've done this for. It's the only two I had the time to wow. get the idea for this. Okay. So, do you want him to be a good see, guy or a I bad guy? I can see guy? him now. I can see him. <laughs> Hail, cleric! It is I, Manos of Crankor. Ooh. Finn hello. shouts from the doorway because she's not going anywhere near him. <laughs> Hi. This is our new companion, Finn. Hello, Finn. little No, Finn. he met Finn. And you you remember Elijah. He spent many days naked in your in your in your church. Yes. I remember him. Yeah, make of course it all I that bath. It took a I mean, while to I understand you you spoke to the uh, refugees that are now taking shelter in Corald. Oh, that's very true. Very true indeed, so it is. We what are... do you know? She spoke of the great evil coming from an earth, and I had a look, you see. Because we've had, yes. ever since you came into town, it's been like this, increasing danger. Uh, wait, what are you saying? That uh, Because we've shown up, well, there's no, been more danger? I, I did some research. It's just coincidence that you've arrived and there's been danger. If anything, we've been nothing but good for the town. Yes. I thought you guys said that you showed up to that massive group of heroes that was waging war against the local goblin population. They were that was that was different. Don't we were the last three? Okay, it was me, Elijah, and Zola. <laughs> oh no, it is the cat one. Wait, he no, returned you home. Day. Day. That's right. You told he, me last time. He, that's right. I told. We've had time to tell you that. That's right. <laughs> Uh, by the way, are you retconning looking for any treasure, by the way? Who? Us? Mm-hmm. Were we looking for a treasure? <laughs> uh, after your battle. Which battle? I think we assumed since the dragon got away, there wouldn't be any treasure, since we'd also rifled through that castle before. Mm, yes, but that time you rifled through the castle, the dragon was manipulating you. I don't remember dragon hands on me. Manipulating you like you, he had a hand up your buttocks. Yeah, and no, I don't remember that. Anyway, <laughs> um, okay, we can talk about escalating danger. The the people by the wall are hungry. Have you? Is there any way that we can spare more food or aid for them? Oh, well, we tried. You know, we have tried to help. I've been gathering from alms from the from the people in this town. They've, all, they've already given. You're Has pretty... anyone spoken to Tufty, the I... god of the forest? No, I don't believe we have. We've not seen him for a long time. He may be able to collect nuts, <laughs> honey, fish, perhaps. I don't know. I would suggest an envoy to discuss it with him, since we do have a treaty with them. Oh, yes, well... I'll send someone along, yes. Oh, your daughter's doing Excellent. well, by the way. I know her and, and Mrs. Badbladder should be doing fine. I'm glad. 
Well, yes. Your daughter's been going out hunting, you see, to help what? feed them. Oh, well, of course. She's my daughter. <laughs> you were about to get all angry. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, she better not be killing squirrels. Or, oh, someone's, oh, someone's going to get grounded. <laughs> no, no, no. Tufty likes it when you kill the rabbits. Well, that's fine. Do you know where they hail from or how we can get there? Because I think the best solution would be to free their homeland so that they may return. Well, I have been looking into a lot of things for this, you see. Yes. There is a story that I found it amongst the books here at the church. Okay. they have not been used for a long time. Mm-hmm. There once used to be lords around here, you see. No, oh, there were lords in the Coral Valley. Well, all around. Used to be part of a big empire. Oh. What and, was... Uh, I... <laughs> I should, you know, this is uh, something I came up with before re- realizing that the Rune Lords was an adventure path. <laughs> so I've changed it slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you see, there were these things called Rune Lords. Uh-huh. And they were very pish. Um, no, very bad for the area at times. Especially oh. the one that ruled this region. She was very angry. Apparently, she was, she was the rune lord of Wrath. You okay. might have seen a few of her old images around the place. Oh, shit, Elijah. Okay, well, he's gone. <laughs> oh, shit, nobody. <laughs> well, what? you see... Sorry. Elijah, Elijah. There's a really big woodpecker outside. I don't oh, care. You mean Listen. like the, the woman statues in that one tower? You we don't know that. <laughs> yes, I do. How do you know? Wait, uh, what town? <laughs> oh, oh, right. Uh, uh, I heard it from this adventure named Haruko that might have met you guys at one point. Uh, Elijah. <laughs> Apparently there, were, uh, there was an angry rune lord that... Uh-huh. Uh, that that controlled the valley, and she's the one that's in all those fucking statues. You remember the one you had sex with? Yes, that was a very disturbing thing to do to a statue. I mean, according to that Haruko adventure. That's right. When we we went to that destroyed tower, you had sex with one of the statues. It's the angry lady that we keep seeing. Now, before you start, Matt, I didn't realize Rune Lords was an actual uh, thing in Pathfinder until when I made this plot. So I've changed it slightly. What happened to I the look, it works. What happened to the Rune Lords? Well, they all kind of fought each other and Oh, uh, they all just killed each other. Yes, they killed quite a few people along with themselves. Also their god might have died. Anyway. How do you they never even existed? <laughs> it's weird. Can, can you please let the GM <laughs> <laughs> do his thing? <laughs> You see, they were powerful mages and a lot of people. Well, some of us were grateful that it disappeared. A lot of the land wasn't shaped this way back when they were around. Hmm. Anyway, do you think that the necromancer or wizard that we that we killed that had taken over the town? Remember that? Was could that be related to the rune lords? I think it was related in some way. I, there are some people sometimes who try to bring them back, but they always fail. Hmm. But this one, I don't know. It doesn't feel the same. And up north, was there a rune lord that ruled up north? There was. Uh, he was, I believe, this lady's biggest threat. And what was what was his name? Oh, or her name? Remember. Uh, wait a minute, I'd have to look up. Um, oh, fuck, I want to say Zoon, but I don't think that's right. Zoon. I don't think that's right. So, we're going to call him Zool. her name iPod? <laughs> we're going to call him Zool, motherfucker. That's right. All right. Wait a minute, I'm looking it up. I'm looking it up. Zool, uh, so that little, that little green ninja that was in that game with a lot of candy in it? <laughs> Good reference. <laughs> Uh, so Tassilon met its end. Uh, fuck. Well, anyway, these rune lords, the, the refu- refugee people, the Shawanti, they, they told me about them. 
They're... I see. So uh, the Shawanti knew about them. Yes, uh, they they are evil gods in their stories, but they were nothing but people, just powerful mages. Some people take them for, take think they're slumbering, and some want to grab their power for themselves. You see. I okay, that makes sense then. Hmm, Elijah. Oh boy. <laughs> An hour with Yo. Elijah, I need to talk to you because you're the only other well, companion that I have that we've had since the beginning. So shit's starting to make a little bit more sense around here. All right. So the Rune Lords controlled just about everything. Then they fought each other and died. Right? So that explains the, the statues that are all over the place. Yeah. Or various what? flavors of not quite died or worse right. than died. Or... So the wizard that we killed might have been trying to resurrect one of the loot Rune Lords. So it's possible that and the dragon might have been also. Yeah, what took our? Do you remember our first pet, right? Leon. Oh yeah, Leon. Yeah. <laughs> maybe they. Maybe if we go north, we might find Leon. Oh, how is Leon doing? We Leon's been Haruko disappeared forever. said he forever. was a, he was a bit of a creepy old man, but he was seemed pretty nice. He disappeared. We we've been trying to look for him ever since. That's unfortunate. He's dead. <laughs> He's not dead. Don't say that. Everybody's dead. You loved Leon. Shut up. He was party grandpa, and you miss him. Admit it. Quite honestly, I could get a little Leon uh, action since we no. lost Sola. <laughs> you know... All right, is there a map or anything? Are there roads that lead north? Because I think the answers we need... And at the very least, to destroy the evil so that the Shianti can return home. We will have to travel north and fight whatever evil has popped up there. Okay, give me a second. I'm about to get to, to the real uh, person that fought the Rune Lord of Wrath. Uh, ah, Karzug. Parzug? Karzug. I presume that's how it's pronounced. Okay, and Parzug is the one that d destroyed the Rune Lord here. Well, no, we didn't destroy. Uh, they disappeared. They were always fighting, though. Uh, Rune Lord of Greed, that's who he was. Okay, so the Rune Lord of Greed defeated the Rune Lord of Wrath. Nope. Fought the Rune Lord of Wrath. Fought the Rune Lord of Wrath, and then the Rune Lords just kind of disappeared like a fart in the wind. Is that what you're telling they, me? They disappeared during Earthfall, you see. During Earthfall? Yep. Which, give me a second, because if we're going oh, into this, yeah. I'm going to have to find it. Okay, so Earthfall uh, was a cataclysmic effect that event that happened about 6,000 years before now in Pathfinder. It was a swarm of meteoroids oh. that hit the planet. Okay. Uh, just reluct uh, just basically just Real quickly, spoiler alert. Real quickly, spoiler alert. It's not, it's not like a spoiler for this campaign because we're not probably going to deal with this, but it actually wasn't a meteorite. It was a spaceship. What? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. everyone thinks it was a set at a lot of meteorites that basically just made, you know. And then the live stream welled up empires. and the ending was kind of confusing because then everything was overgrown, but then did everyone survive or die? No one could really tell from the ending cinematic. Okay, so great. <laughs> Again, is there any way to go north to the Shanty oh, people? Well, I mean, I mean, the sun was blotted out for a thousand years, so how the fuck did anything survive? I don't know. Great. Again. Road, north, how do we get there? Ooh, you see. Well, in this story there, Yab. <laughs> it's great to know that the people in the chat o overtake the people who are playing the game. <laughs> you see, well, now, that's a thing, you see. I've been looking into this. This town, this village, used to be an area, you see, that was a focus of the Wrath. We might be targeted soon. The focus of the of the, the Rune Lord of Wrath? Well, not... F yes, it was a, a loci, if you will. If you'd seen in these te ancient texts, they mentioned something that can defeat the power of the Rune Lords. 
but it was broken in two, you see? And so we had out. something that could defeat the rune the rune wraiths. Rune wraths. Wrath wrath rooney. Rooney tunes. The rooney tune. We we could wait, there was something here that Yeah, that that could defeat them was here that in Coral. At least going it I mean the texts are old, you see, and it's missing, but Okay, yeah. we're we're Okay. There Wait, was a repeat, right. repeatedly something that could stave off their evil effects. And it protected the town. But it protected the area sometimes. All right. And what happened to this relic? Well, we don't know. It disappeared after being broken. We have no leads as to where the two pieces went? Well, I've done some digging, and thanks to speaking to the Shuanti... We may have found out something in their local legends. They speak of a great powerful thing that one day appeared. Mm -hmm. And the gods did not like it, you see. But The gods that are evil that are always tormenting them. Yes. Mm. So, this powerful artifact was used by the tr biggest tribe at the time, you see. And, uh, Lay prospered a little, but it was lost. As you can uh, tell, the north is kind of a thing, it would seem. Yes, it does. So they had a thing, and then they lost the thing. Yes. Okay. Elijah? Oh, you good lord. <laughs> hey, I'm eating my donut, okay? All right, fine. Elijah, what... All right, what are, what, are, what, what, do? Finn, what, are, what should we do? Finn? Come on, we're going to have to have we a should hero. should probably, I guess, go on, north. We're yeah, we're going to need to find at least one of the things to protect Coral, yeah, right? Yeah, that's not going to work. I was going to try a knowledge history check to see if I'd heard of anything in my travels. Probably not going to get anything with a 13, though. No. Oh. It looks like the only thing that could protect Coralt was last seen in the north. And the north seems to be overrun by evil. And we need to free that homeland, find a thing, and maybe find Leon. Sounds like there's three things we need to do. Yeah. And there was an artifact, and it was broken, and the pieces were more... placed elsewhere. Right. 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 All right. Um, Have you guys found anything unusual and artifacty? Cleric? Have you found anything, quote, unusual and artifacty? Well, <laughs> no. I don't leave a town. No, you don't. Any rumors or stories that you've heard? Boy, you see. I know that. Associated heroic figures we could dig the graves up of. <laughs> and I guess. Refugees, too. Also builders. Yes. So well, here's what I would recommend. Number one, do we even have a mayor anymore, or did I kill him, or did he run away? He came back. Great. I do not have a portrait for him. That's fine. I, I would like to ask the cleric to inform the mayor that we're going to head north to try to, one, stop the evil, two, Find the thing that could protect us if the rune of wrath comes back. And three, maybe find Leon. But we, you guys need to double your efforts for town protection. The, the wall around the town is three feet high. And four. And four. Finally find a great taste in, but less feeling light beer. Yeah, put that at the bottom of the to-do list. Okay, we're... <sighs> All right, is there any directions you can give us so that we could head north? Well, you see, we reckon through the forest and pulls out some sheets and maps and stuff and starts mm. writing directions for you. Ten minutes Excellent. later, he hands you this scroll which describes what you can do for where to go. All right, excellent. All right, gentlemen, um... Elijah and I are going to return home so I can see my daughter and so that we can prepare for the journey. Uh, Finn? 
We got a spare house. <laughs> Brunhill or Ironhawk. Well, it Fence might House smell a little is, bit um, like also spot. still being built. Well, oh, I that's have, what I, I have my ways of finding oh, places yeah. to sleep. Oh, yeah. I'll be fine. We have a spare house. It might oh, smell yeah. like cat, oh, but oh, I'm Before I'm used to leave. traveling on the road. Before I'll find some lodgings of some sort. You're gonna what? Before, what are you gonna? Before we leave the place, I'm gonna throw a fucking Casanandra's hand at him and be like, "Do something with this, like resurrect him or reincarnate him, something." I don't know. It's not cheap doing that, you know. Well, yeah, but like you kind of owe price? us one. What's your price? Oh, for resurrection. Um, and you're presumed. Uh, Again, it doesn't have to be resurrection. Reincarnation's cheaper. Of course, you're presuming that this. And you don't even it. need the body for reincarnation. You know what? If this cleric can reincarnate yeah. her, we should bring him. Uh, reincarnate is not a cleric spell. No, that's druidic. So resurrection costs ten thousand gold, or a diamond worth oh. it at least. Oh yeah. yeah, you need a you need a pretty hefty diamond in order to uh, convince the divine spirits to bring your friend back to life. Well, I'll tell you what, hold on to the hand, and maybe we'll come back with with enough money. Uh, a lower level cleric like the local town one should know a spell that can preserve a dead body for an extended per- period of time. That is something that lower level clerics can do. If you're going to resurrect someone, they can keep the body in pristine Next, condition. I'll be right back. I need yeah. to go and take some dishes upstairs. Well, if you're going to take some dishes up, let's take a five minute break because this we've only got like a, well, we've only got like a half an hour, to, forty minutes to go. Obviously, short, we'll have, no, wait, we've still got an hour and a bit. I forget it's four hours with the uh, Pathfinder again. Break time. Ten minute break. Okay. Everyone take a break because I need to pee. I don't do it. I'm going to go on my adventure without you. All right. That's why we're leaving. I'm back. Wham. <laughs> if, you want, Angus, you could tra- if you want, I guess you could transition us to Manus's house. Or if you actually have that map. I don't think he had that map. I, I don't think he had that map. map. He had a map of a stupid one. What I could do is send him the map, I guess. I don't know. It might be too big for Skype, but let me see. <laughs> do, 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 do. I mean, realistically, my character is used to you know holding up in hollow logs and shit like that when she's traveling. Okay. No, I in. do not loot garbage cans, micro. I hunt my food, thank you. I put it in I put it in the chat. Alright, now I'm back. <laughs> okay, Jim, I read that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll deal with it after the break, Angus. Don't worry about it. After the break, Angus, don't worry about and it. And I'm back. Well, up my head, bosons. Hello?
Matt, did you disconnect and reconnect thinking that we weren't here? Because I was in the toilet. Yeah. Okay, let me upload that image up. Jason had for his. Uh, 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 uh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Oh man, if you're not aware of what's happened to Sola, you have been away for a while. Uh, Alright, enough. Uh, let's see, I'll just double that. Okay, and then I will stick in the image. Bow, boop, chicky, bow, wow. And then Use the can, fit my cats, got a drink. <laughs> Let's make this a big one. Cause it's outside, so let's make it out. Yeah, <laughs> by twenty. Okay. Oh, too big a big one. Or is roll twenty playing up again? Oh no, that's fine. Okay. okay. Roll twenty has a dramatic lack of loading bars. It's a bunch of dicks. That's what it is. Like, how hard is it to tell, like, how long it's going to be to upload something? That's just iced tea. I didn't get anything alcoholic. Oh, that's something I can go grab. Some booze. I think I'll get some of my Strongbow. My Strongbow, dark, dark Strongbow, even. I will be right back. off. You know what? Fuck it. Might be stretched, but there we go. You know, we I never got a good look at the the thing when it was on the live broadcast, but Jason really did put a lot of effort into Matt's hovel. He did. <laughs> what more I could be arsed to do half the time. <laughs> in there. Let's boot. I'm not going to say I've never had an alcoholic drink while the show was going, but while we're doing the game, I, I try not to. I also try not to have too much caffeine because I get jittery. Oh, There's a grid on this map. Yes, there is. That's going to throw off people, but there's no combat, so it's not to worry. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to find in my NPCs. Where is she? She's finished. Right. right. By the well, that'll do. And I'm off to get that beer. Well, cider. I mean, when you're just yelling profanity at a movie that makes you realize that autohysterectomy is a thing, I mean, it's okay to get a little sloshed, but I already end up doing enough complicated stuff with my character. I don't want to be impeded at the same time. Should I do more of the face 
portraits for when you're talking to people face to face or that was nice it made the priest seem slimy <laughs> but it it was nice okay i guess i can do i mean more there's of that. there's no need to do an entire like knickknack put together interior shot of a building if you're not going to have anything going on in there so you might as well do a face if we're having a face to face meeting yeah I'll start doing that for all the characters. I'll have to get it implanted. Plus, if you ever feel like making something start to go wrong with one of them, like if the cleric starts to, I don't know, biodegrade or something, it's like, are you undead? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we had fireworks the other day, Micro, and I was like, what the fuck's going on? There's no need for fireworks. Uh, fireworks. Yeah, you guys are in America, where people just go out randomly and fire into the air. Well, it's unusual to, to hear someone have fireworks this time of year, because you can only buy them at set time of the year. Mm. Generally. Fireworks are illegal in my county because we have fires. <laughs> but yeah, we can only buy them, I uh, think, from mid-October to... Mm, mid-November, I think, in the shops. And I think in my state, you can't really... Yeah, I think in California, you can't really get fireworks outside of July. Yeah. And maybe like a leading week or two, maybe. Ah, there we go. I mean, there are plenty of people that, of course, smuggle them into the state, but, you know. Yeah. And bottle rockets and... Etc. And just people that take their guns out and shoot them in the air. Right, okay. We've got that. Oh shit, I'll need the dog. <laughs> oh. No, phone. Shush. As Angus's phone turns into a transformer. <laughs> Okay, which one was a dog? Uh, did barf, name... barf, 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 barf. Did we name the dog? Did I even bother putting in a character for? Oh, there it is. There we go. And I'm going to ignore my folder called Gem Spares. <laughs> Hey, it speeds things up. You guys didn't even notice when she turned back into Finn. I noticed. <laughs> didn't have to delete the character's image or upload a new one. Just having them sitting there is a lot more convenient. <laughs> okay. So I'll written on the other two... To those in the chat are wondering what that conversation was about, I had Angus make a bunch of extra character tokens for me, and I set all of their respective token images to the various forms my character can take. That way we don't have to wait for me to upload one, download one, and we can still have kind of the little immersion thing going for it. Yeah. Oh, and let me know in the chat uh, what you thought about the whole changing to face-to-face -to -face instead of uh, me fucking about with a map. Well, the team gets on. I mean, it's what people do in role-playing games. Mm -hmm. In the video games, I mean. It was rather nostalgic. <laughs> considering the resolution of her picture. Yeah. No, it reminded, me of, reminded me of the DOS days. <laughs> Just some random picture I found with another random I, I, picture edited in. I have expected her to have like the, those random five frames of animation, you know? <laughs> I uh, randomly edited in a tent, put a blue background and a green background, and edited in a, a cloud or two. Oh, 
Okay. Let's see. If anyone plays uh, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, I may free up an ally space for you in Discord if you put your code there. Your ally code there, by the way. Is that the EA Star Wars gacha game? Yeah, it's pretty decent. I mean, it is pretty much pay to win, but you can still get along quite well without having to pay them. <laughs> and it's a pain in the arse that it's a huge grind fest. They all generally are like that. Mm. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, guys, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Ain't got an the answer same, to that one, same, do you? The same place we are always are, Pinky. Place we are always are, Pinky. On a very public spanking room. Yeah, yeah. I'd prefer not to have uh, an MMO on game, but generally mobile phone games don't tend to have single player only, unfortunately, that I like. Like the strategy ones and the tactical ones. Jason ain't never coming back. He's abandoned us. <laughs> He's abandoned Quinn. Just like how I wish my dad would have abandoned me. <laughs> you guys do know that if Manos ever dies, Quinn's father is still coming back for her. In ghost form! Woo! No, I mean in assumed identity. <laughs> That's literally my plan That's if he actually up. does die. What? It, no, it gives the little girl her father. Then what happens when you die? I turn into an animal and she freaks out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and it was a well thought out one. Uh, Mon, I'm afraid we're not lagging in the arms trade. We sell a huge amount of arms to Saudi Arabia. Much to the chagrin of um, a lot of us. Come on, Jason. Do, 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 do. Well, I mean, I could always find a wee girl's. Oh, that's going to sound so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if a wee girl's face for a, a face to face, but yeah, it's, tell us more about the wee girl's face. <laughs> didn't uh, didn't Manus give you the map? Uh, Jason give you the map? That's what we're looking Jeez, at right now. Oh, I've not put you in. There. Oh, no, I haven't, have I? Uh, oops, I've still got you in the old corral house. There you go. Oh boy. So that's the caretaker lady and the dog. No, that's Hey guys. Fun. Guys? Yes. I need to go. I need to get something. My wife is not feeling well, and I'm going to be back in about 20 minutes. Okay? Okay. Someone can, someone can play as me. I mean, what's going on? Nothing good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we're home for briefly, but. I gotta, I gotta go run, and I need to get some stuff, and then I'll be back. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Or I'm, I'm, I'm eating spaghetti, or whatever other reasons that that Elijah uses to disappear for about twenty minutes. <laughs> There's only one actual reason. I but... yeah I, yeah I know so, I know. Should I disturb Jason some when he comes back? Is uh, put this as the face to face picture for. <laughs> What? <laughs> Don't fuck with anything. I will be I will be back. 
All right. <laughs> She's not that old yet. I <laughs> guess, <know>. geez. <laughs> she is Momo. Who is? <laughs> Remember, the dog's there, puppy monkey baby's there, Quinn's there, and, and Mrs. Bad 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 Bladder is there. So yep, Mrs. I'm going gonna... to. I had no image for so I'm going to a random one. Okay, is that's Manus's fine. house on the left or the right? Manos's is on the left, and Cat's uh, is on the right. And the shack is Elijah's. All right, I'll be back. Okay. Okay. If you could shrink that down to tiny for me, Ingus. <laughs> okay, yeah. That was the last time we ever saw Jason. Some people say on a moonless <laughs> night, you can still see his ghost wander in the streets. Okay, I'm trying to find... <laughs> No, no, I'm not going to complete that sentence. <laughs> it's just going to sound so wrong. Um, we never saw Jason again. He was lost in the jungles of Vietnam. His family got a bronze star. <laughs> and Angus became Senator Birch Bukowski. <laughs> let's see, Angus's... That old uh, died let's see, Manos' daughter, us. Quinn... Is based off Harley Quinn, so I need to look for pictures of little girls with blonde hair and blue eyes. Right, Angus? Mm hmm. That are not going to get me arrested. <laughs> Angus, you should check out 4chan. I hear they have a lot of, like, <laughs> girl pictures there, you creep. <laughs> 8chan's even better. Okay, should we. Should I see if I can emergency Bollywood? For 20 minutes? <laughs> I don't know. You've been... You loved the Bollywood. You loved it, really. <sighs> yeah, but if we're going to start a Bollywood movie, I'd rather I'd rather us watch it entirely, because, let's be honest, all the insanity in that fucking movie last week, like, a lot of it was concentrated towards the fucking end of it. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's right, folks. Jesus. Matt loved. So maybe, like, is there something? That... I don't know and if I, mean... I loved it, Angus. I just I can't stop thinking about it. And I mean, if we did something for 20 minutes, how would that work? Because we can't exactly change format as we are right now. Yeah, I know. It was just something. Did I upload that image? Uh, nope. Let me upload the one I just grabbed. It's slightly horrifying, but it'll do for now. Slightly horrifying. But not completely horrifying. Mm-hmm. It's also the only blonde little girl in the format that I'm looking for. <laughs> oh, God, it gets worse. <laughs> Look, Angus, what do you think I had to type into Google to find the image I used for Finn? <laughs> yep, I'll do. Uh, now and then all of the ones I had to throw out because they weren't tasteful, like <laughs> at all. <laughs> like, why? Why did you draw that? There we go. We have Little Quinn. Give her full name, Quinine. Uh. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know if she's been stung by two bees or what. <laughs> Why would you do oh, that? I hate that. <laughs> That's 3D rendered. Why would you do that? <laughs> you know why they did that. Look at the way her lips are perked. <laughs> oh. This was used for some shit. shit. The eyes are pointing in two different directions. <laughs> one's, one's pointing up and to the left, the other down and to the right. Help me, Daddy. You're my only hope. Father, 
I need your help, father. <laughs> father. <laughs> I've been hunting, father. I've been out hunting, daddy. Did we ever daddy, confirm I've if Jason hunting. was going to turn little Quinnin into a gunslinger or not? Didn't she have a shotgun? Oh. Yeah, she's a gunslinger. Yeah. I mean, being as she's a child, she can only have NPC levels for the moment, but eventually she can grow up and be a gunslinger. Yeah. Like, she could be a... I don't know. I mean, she grew up a peasant, but would she be nobleborn now? <laughs> I don't know. It, th th there are specific classes that give, like, martial disciplines, but even then, firearms are exotic, I think. Yeah, kind of, yeah. Especially in this area. I just set my arm hairs on fire. <laughs> Why? Yeah, I bet don't burn your house down. <laughs> Why would you want to see that? I don't know how going, I did it. Oh. And if you're going to burn your house down, don't start with yourself. Start with something else. <laughs> uh, once I have some time to properly do this for the portraits... I'll get some better ones. Because <laughs> we've got the mayor. I'm going to prepare the mayor. Well, like... As a... Uh, as a child character, she can have an NPC class, and I think they can actually take a feat, so she could have proficiency in a couple of firearms, maybe. Oh, I'll look it up. Uh, and then no. once you, and then once a character comes of age, they can instantly kind of retrain all their levels into an actual character class. <laughs> Shit, I did actually write down all that stuff about the Rune Lords back when I first made this. Huh? Can you? That's the cleric. That's commoner stuff. Ah, oh, I didn't write it down. Okay. Maybe I've got it in my character section. <laughs> Check out how exciting this is live as Angus tries to build up some stuff because one of his players has fucked off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mid-game. Well, for a good reason. Yeah. Ah. Uh, did I leave that? Was it Buckfist? Was it that who it was? Uh, nope, that's a dress. Um. Oh yeah, that is a thing. Uh, androids are a playable race in Pathfinder, and there are actually like high technology items you can use. The the different higher technology stuff is supposedly compatible with the mythological stuff, as far as balance goes. Call the mayor. Fuck. Where's my notes? Where's the notes that I can hold? Where the hell is that gone? <sighs> Motherfucker. Ah, uh, well. Oh, no, wait. That might be them up there. Oh. Uh, what? Oh, go away. Right, what's this? That's about the village. That's a wee map. Ah, yes. There we go. And now, we are going to make the mayor's image come in here. Which, if I remember rightly, I described him as a sort of macho man, Randy Savage type character. I give him the voice anyway. Oh, yeah. So, until I can do better. Image from uh, uh, fuck. Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Until I can find an actual portrait for him. There we go. Yeah, that is kind of interesting. Reading up on the uh, Pathfinder androids, the uh, they kind of reverse reincarnate. 
the body shuts down for a week or two, and the, as their current soul departs into the great beyond, and then a new soul springs up in the body. Okay, I can quickly flick his over to... There's the mayor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Detect evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've been working on saving the village. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, back to Quinine. Ah! That is Quinine. <laughs> so yeah obviously once I get some time oh shit I'm in battle I forgot about that um, once I get some time I'll add a backdrop to these sort of characters and stuff badly cut mm -hmm. them out and paste them into <laughs> backdrops so it's not just white in the background try and make it more involved So it matches. I really don't know if uh, Jason's going to like that. Uh, <laughs> of, uh... <laughs> well, he can he can Google for a little blonde, blue-eyed girl <laughs> picture. <laughs> I mean, Fen's image was originally a blonde, blue-eyed girl until they recolored her eyes. But I was looking for Alice in Wonderland specifically. I can't remember why. I just struck on that for some reason. And I think that was the only one I could find that didn't have an absolute territory issue. <laughs> that's uh, that's how much of the leg you see if the skirt is flipped up, by the way. Which... <laughs> so... Creepy Japanese f um, fan service levels. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a classification of artwork that's just cute for cute's sake, but then they start drawing it and it starts getting less cute and more fan slow. And I'm oh. back. I got fan some french fries. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait, I've got to see what the chat's been talking about. Um, what do you mean I made Quinn a racist? Hmm? Oh, right, it shows the chat lore. Well, the chat lore is different. And, um... Uh, I'll have you know that little Quinn is, was never part of the show lore. She was entirely Pathfinder based. She was a little girl that belonged to a shepherd who was killed by his flock. That's right. That Manos decided to adopt. That's right. She was... Why did, why did you have her survive originally? Just to have someone for us to try and save? I cannot remember. Hmm. Just one of those organic things? Yep. The only canon in the Pathfinder game is the canon I write. I am not George Lucas. I do not give it out to the fans. <laughs> I may adopt what the fans come in, come up with, but still... So you're Disney. <laughs> yes. So you'll take a little bit of that, I'll take a little bit of that, I'll take a little bit of that, and we'll throw all the rest out. Yep. Wait, this is one of the images from one of the anti-white, from the white genocide episode? <laughs> I have a feeling she's from, like, an automatic singer application or something, and they used her in that one. 
which is just even more creepy, of course, because of course. <laughs> because from my search, which I was very carefully doing, this is the only portrait style little blonde blue eyed girl that came up. Okay, I did not realise I'd grabbed something that had actually been on the show and was singing the, the Bob's mantra, Big Bob's mantra. <laughs> nah, I've got zero trust, mate. Nah, I've got zero trust, mate. VPNs are old. You want zero trust VPNs these days. You want zero trust these days. <laughs> what? Oh. Just the audience enjoying the ASMR of Matt valiantly doing battle with a sandwich? <laughs> Whatever he's eating. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can, you have. Google use uh, set their employees to use it all the time. It's what Google uses instead of VPNs if their employees are in cafe, uh, coffee, uh, coffee stores, etc. Yeah, we always get echo off Matt, <laughs> micro. <laughs> You always get echo off your dumb fat head. Oh, yeet! Unfortunately not, Matt. Where is that even from? Yeet, it's not one know. of those things born from the internet that I'm not completely familiar with. I don't know, the kids are saying with. it. The of kids course. are saying it nowadays. Of course. And you're down with the kids, yo. There's several white papers that Google yeah, will give you about you know, it. I get older, they stay the same age. The quote of a personal hero of mine, Jerry Sandusky. I just love you. <laughs> it's... Okay. Right, okay, what else can we do while Matt, uh, while Jason's away, beyond staring at the, at the wee lassie? I could edit it. Oh, let's see if I can try to edit it in paint. You could, you could edit it in real time for everyone to watch. That is a classification of video now. Ooh. A 20 minute paint challenge. I know those uh, those artwork videos. I think I've watched a couple of them. They're just kind of zen. You're watching some guy converse with the audience while they're working with a graphical application to make a piece of artwork. Okay, so let's do this background here. You guys won't see this. You'll see it when I get it done and I replace. Uh, boop. Let's stick that in. Oh god, make it bigger. Uh. Let's say about 1,000 pixels. I can play with that. That's slightly better. Um, let's stick in a little Quinny. God, God, has everyone been weak? Lasso cut. It's all about the, la the badly following the, the lines several thousand fucking times to try and get it right. Uh, 
Ugh, come on. I start here. That's fuck. What the fuck is going on? There we go. Right, folks. So we're gonna add a little friendly bush. <laughs> little little fluffy cloud here. <laughs> Come on, Angus. Bob Ross it up. A friendly little fuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Start from the bottom. Start from the bottom. Oh, fuck it. Problem is, I'm using a mouse for this. You're watching the show, Bob McRoss. <laughs> We're going to shove a little fuck there. <laughs> well, oh, you arse. There. <laughs> And here in the corner, you can see someone doing a wee shite. Because <laughs> he's had a wee bit too much to drink, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, like a fucking pure night in a tune to make you shite. Oh, fucking hell. Come on, Angus, you can do this. You're a gimp. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm now getting people to tell me what to do. Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> That's a thing. Thanks, heat graphical processing. Um, apparently, it's a. I don't know quite what I'm doing with this tool, but okay. It's interesting. What? What? What is? What is? What is that? That's your daughter. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Is it tell the bad man to make it go away? No, it's not. No, that's not Quinn. No, uh, that's Quinn. What What has happened while I was gone? When tell did the bad she get to make it go away? Did she get stung by a bee? What happened? <laughs> so I was seeing um, if people preferred the chat and like this for the role play when you're talking one on one with a character or a map, huh? and I put in Quinn. Okay, um, why is there a lady in a bikini in the chat? <laughs> that oh, was the, one uh, I said that I was was the other picture Angus wanted to use for your uh, character's daughter. <laughs> Just to fuck with you. Okay. All right, so are we on our way to the quest now? <laughs> no, you've been standing We're... there staring at your daughter for 20 minutes. We were stopping over at your house to rest for the night, I believe. Oh, okay, great. Let's 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 do that. Hi, Quinn. Hi, hi, Quinn. I didn't know you were allergic to shellfish. Hi, Quinn. How are you? <laughs> Hello, hi. Daddy. Hi, sweet pea. I've forgotten the voice I use for. Her. There's this a surprise. Hi, Daddy. Matt has probably fallen unconscious on the floor at this point. <laughs> Why? He was eating a sandwich. Oh, and now he's out. Okay, great. <laughs> uh, How you do? Is is everything okay, Daddy? We got a doggy. Yeah. This I, funny yes. felt man brought the doggy. That's right. Oh, Oogie's staying with us. Great. Hi, where is he? Oh, Where's he went, Oogie? He he went to deal with things elsewhere. Okay. The mayor wanted okay, to speak I've... to him. I've put a picture, an age-appropriate picture of Quinn in the chat, and we can just go with that, shall we? Great. Um, I don't know. I don't know. What's that? You know what you're supposed to do here? That is a three-year-old that is suffering from a peanut allergy. That is not that is, a daughter. That is, according to our, our uh, show historian, a... 3D render that was used in a racist uh, white genocide video that we watched once upon a time. Yep. Oh God! Thanks, thanks, thanks for that. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna, Did I'm we... gonna rest, catch up with my daughter, make sure everything's okay. 
Um, give a little extra money to Mrs. Badbladder for taking care of the house. Let her know that Soul is not coming back. Um, what else? Wow, geez, what else? Oh, she already knows about that, though. She already knows about that. Uh, Quinn's going to dance around a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn's Randomly changed sizes. Sorry, I, hadn't, I hadn't colored it, so that was just a... But you gave her a shotgun. Well, I hadn't, I hadn't, I drew this before I realized that she was going to be doing gun stuff. Let's see, height. And she's not terribly, she's not tall. No, but I mean, getting this into I, shot. I need a little kid that looks like she could handle shooting a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Not whatever that other thing was. Anyway, uh, okay, well, great, Quinn. I'm glad you like the dog. You get to name the dog, though. I couldn't come up with a name. I'm sorry, sweet. Hmm. What name chat shall we give the dog? Please oh, don't. Dear. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Angus, what have you done? Remember, this is the same chat that wanted to sell, wanted me to sell Quinn to, into prostitution. <laughs> so, no. Do I hear the voice of my beloved? <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> it was Who said that? Brunhilde Ironcock, but she's in her shop getting things. Oh, set. okay. Wait, she was she was getting cozy with with. Uh, the other one, wasn't she? Or was I? I can't remember. Oh, that one sounds fun. Let's go with Fuck that you, one. I'm her beloved. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay, that's right. it looks like uh, Lucky McGee is the name of the, of the dog. Okay, that's fine. Lucky McGee. Lucky McGee. Lucky, lucky for sure. Lucky McGee. Well, he, he was very lucky. <laughs> All right, sweet sweetheart. Um, Daddy's going to have to go I'll and go fight you. i <laughs> Wait, so is, is this is this the evening before we do the rest, or is this the morning afterward? Well, let's say it's the morning after. Okay. okay. Morning We've dawns had as the g- group gather in front of the house, ready to leave on their mighty quest north. Should we take the horses? <laughs> we only have two. As Manos has turned back to say goodbye to his daughter, he sees a little stuffed animal crawl out the door of his house. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank, thank, thanks, thanks, whichever one you are right now. <laughs> oh, I don't come know on, I thought one, it was I clever. Can't, I can't see you, so I don't know which one you are right now. There we go. You should have control again. Why am I on the I... wrong side of things? I'm on the map. Right, there we go. Okay. Well, either she would come out carrying a new stuffed animal she found in her room, or a stuffed animal would be creeping out from the door to join you guys. <laughs> well, oh, I, uh, so that's that's you. That's that. Or she'd you know you. find out that's... that her stuffed toys are strangely sticky and. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, uh, it's uh, foxes are animals. Animals have a wrist slot, meaning I can wear my. Sleeves of many garments while I'm in my fox form, meaning I can disguise myself with little outfits, and a disguise as a stuffed animal is an outfit. Okay, great. And, be- great. and because of how glamours work, it would feel just like an ordinary stuffed animal, except it might be a little warm. Did you just uh, spend the night with my daughter in her bed? Is, is that what you did? Well, probably nestled in around the rest of her stuffed animals instead. Okay. All right, great. Okay, Unless she I, I can... found me and decided Elijah, that, that, that is partially up to the GM. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a whole empty house right across the way, right across <laughs> the, on the other side of the well. There's an empty house. All right, is everyone ready to go? Elijah, are you potioned up? Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Uh, huh. Elijah. Matt. Elijah, are the woodpeckers back, Matt? <laughs> are the oh, wood- hey, I didn't know we were supposed to eat meat this early. <laughs> you shut up, Finn. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Bye, sweetie. I'll Could be you back. And- glints in the grass as the uh, sunlight hits them. The world seems brighter today. 
course it does. It's my daughter. She's awesome. <laughs> Only to see a massive shite from a bird land on her head. On whose head? Quinn's. <laughs> Fine. You can watch that off, sweetie, or Mrs. Badbladder can help you out. What is what is the thing next to next to her? Doggy. What is Oh, that's the doggy. Hi, doggy. All right. Hi, Lucky. Go. Okay. Bye, everybody. Okay. Where are you? You're the only reason I do any of this. <laughs> Bye, Elijah. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> okay. So you travel north. The journey is long and arduous. Mm. First, you would travel. You, you first travel through the forests. Reaching north, as you do, as part uh, while you are traveling through the forest, uh, you hear some slight hooting and shuffling. No shit. Ahead. Hello, owl bears. Yeah, I'm thinking owl bears. Yeah, owl bear. Oh fuck me! God damn it! <laughs> and a Cthulhu tree. Uh, yeah, apparently with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight balls. It's a Cthulhu tree with a nut sack. <laughs> <laughs> there's Manos. There's there's our Aladni. Oh, disappeared. Matt. Let's make sure everyone's got their powers. Let me edit, you fucking piece of shit. <coughs> fucking hell. Great, I'm not getting a chance to edit Matt yet. Just as well he's not here yet. Oh, Matt. Oh, not. Matt. That's when it would be really great to have a giant dude. <laughs> right. It, fucking Roll20 has been a dick and not letting me edit to give you control of your characters. I have control of my character. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about Matt. Oh. It's been a dick. I'm not getting a chance to do it. Matt, are you muted? He's asleep. Okay, come on. Come on. Let me fucking edit, you piece of shit. Oh, honestly. The fuck? Matt. Well, if he's not here, you guys aren't going to survive this. No, we're not. <laughs> That's three against two at this point. And Roll20 has been a dick and can't give me control. So I reckon we just leave it here for the, for the night and we'll come back to it next month. How convenient. It's three hours. Don't look at me. Matt's the one that disappeared. I'm looking right at you. <laughs> Maybe we could put in an interlude where we use our uh, various items we never got a chance to sell to purchase some better equipment. If you wanted. That was your time on your own corral. But we can wreck on it. We have a prost prostitute blacksmith now. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I said that wrong. Prostitute blacksmith! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, are you going to give us a chance to barter or whatever? Although the rules on that are kind of obscure. Generally, that's why you have the sell for half thing. Uh, generally, I'm going to have to re-up Karalt's money and level, I think, as a town as it's growing. So I'd have to work out how much is available and shops and stuff and actually create the town proper again. Because the notes I have are old, very old. Uh, yeah. How long has Matt been gone? <laughs> Could have sworn we just heard him just a second ago. We did, and then he disappeared. He said, okay. I'm going again, I think, or something like oh. that. Because if we look through everything that we've looted over the course of time, we've got like six to 7,000 gold worth of stuff that we can... <coughs> Sell and currency that we can divvy up. Yeah. 
So I'm going to yeah. have to redo the stats for the town because it's been growing. Oh, I've time. actually I accidentally muted myself on I accidentally muted myself on Skype and took your I've headset been, off. I've just been screaming at you assholes. <laughs> I've just been screaming at you assholes this entire fucking time. We, we asked, asked if you, you were you muted. muted yourself. <laughs> well, we can't move you anyway. Well, and I'm we're about to out. fight owl go. bears. Now we've got movement. It's Yay! Let's, let me do it. Let's fight. Okay. Wait, I still have a way to go to the bathroom for like five minutes, and we're already fighting owlbears. We're already fighting owlbears. Mouse is back, baby. Where do Wait, you have some potions? To... How many? Three. Oh, I Jesus think. Christ, we're going to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> they don't seem that big, though. Oh, no, it looks like two. Maybe two. No, there's three. Looks like, for no, some there's reason, three. Roll 20 has been a dick, and it's not letting me create the turn ca- the turn counter thing. Let's see if I can fix that. <sighs> Jesus, fuck. You have a lot of problems. Yeah, there ah, it is. There we go. There we go. I'm just going to have them go at the same time, since they're the same creature. Owl bears are owl bears are animals, right? Yeah. Well, magical beasts. They no, can't have, they're magical they, beasts. They can't have an alignment. Magical beasts of the magical light. Magical beasts can't have. Yep. Uh, owl bears yeah. don't though. They're dumb. They're too dumb to care. I say we run. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I say we do. Wait, you're talking to... I can't run. I'm I'm full plate, dude. <laughs> you can run in full plate. You're just being can... slow. Oh, great. So leave the paladin behind and get eaten by owlbears. No. <laughs> Jim Chin can throw out an animal. And they eat it and we take off? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so our little critters like, I spawn... It might slow it down Do for a little bit. Also, uh, also because I have my mule back cords, I can carry manos. Are these full grown owlbears? bears? Yep. Full grown adult owl bears. You threw three full grown adult owl bears at us. Yeah. They're not as mm. tough as you think. Let's review our history with this GM, Ooh. shall we? Hero Huddle. They have a Let's review pretty, our history with this. <laughs> they have a pretty low AC. Their damages aren't amazing. They do have a bit of HP, though. It'll take a while to knock down. Are you sure? I mean... That would be meta gaming. Let's see. Smite is out. So... As a paladin, although smite is a good thing for you against evil, you should still be able to stand up against non-evil things. I should be able to. At level 7. Fuck it. Did you ever take power attack? No, I didn't. Mm. 13. Okay. Manus is going into battle. Matt, have you muted yourself again? Well, no, they here. are stand. They are standing between us and continuing forward, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. We go around them. Jeez. Okay. Um. Look, I don't like fine owlbears. Okay, I don't have a. I don't have a good history with fine owlbears. <laughs> You've never fought them, Elijah. Come on. No, Elijah hasn't, but fucking Napalm has. Yeah, but as what? Okay, Manos and Red both have the same bonus to their initiative, so we're going to have to do a tiebreaker of some sort. Elijah, buddy, come on. We've fought, we've faced, we've fought owlbear skeletons. Yeah, that's without the meat on them. (laughs) The meat's what makes them dangerous. <laughs> okay, you two do your All thing. Right. Figure out who's going first. Like I'm pretty, you know what, Jason? I'm pretty sure first. I could. 
I'm pretty sure I could fight the the skeleton of Andre the Giant. Probably couldn't actually fight Andre the Giant himself. That's fine. I take out Gloria. Okay, so the Alberos rolled the highest, <laughs> so they're gonna go first, apparently. Yeah. Are they all operating on the same exact turn, Angus? Yeah. Just to make it easier. This weed smells like Vienna sausages and baby poop. It's a really weird fucking melody of of smells that's coming off of this. That's intensely gross. Okay. It's like a baby poop Vienna sausages. Why would you feed Vienna sausages to a baby? You're, look who you're talking to. Not me. I, I mean, mean they're, they're <laughs> soft. See? He already came up with a legitimate answer for it. They're soft. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This one moves up, screeching loudly like an owl. Bear thing. Sorry, I've got a caramel in my mouth as well. I'm trying to avoid chewing on that. Mm-mm. I'm trying to avoid making chewing noises down the microphone even. Oh, Angus, I'm going to establish kind of from here on out that I'm using a second level spell every day to use that quick change spell I told you about. Okay. Just because it's a useful spell to use for my character. Okay, the chat are asking, Matt, are you talking about the babies being soft or for sausages? Why can't it be both? I, uh... The Vienna baby sausages? I bet they'd be really soft. Oh. <laughs> okay, you moved? Or are you silent, done? Uh, silent Vienna sausages are people. So the owlbears all advanced on us and started hooting. So like they're trying to do an aggressive display to get us to leave or something? No, they're just general attacking you. Oh, okay. Well, gentlemen, it was a pleasure serving with you. It was an honor. Don't give up yet. Come on, let's go. Motherfucker, we almost died to sheep. Red, that was years ago. It was a year ago. Okay. So is it my turn, Angus? Mm-hmm. Okay. Haste! Yay! What are my bonuses again? <laughs> plus one to attack, plus one to armor class, plus one to reflexes, uh, double your speed, and you get one additional uh, attack at your full attack bonus if you do okay. a full attack. All right. Okay. And the way haste works, I'm not calling it out necessarily, but as long as all the targets are within at least 30 feet of each other, it works. It kind of chains between people. Okay, so you've cast haste. Uh, then it'd be Manos afterwards if you're not moving. Well, I'm sure my character would love to five foot step off the map, but we saw how well that worked last time. <laughs> Yes, it'll be Manos' turn. Okay, I am going to first off cast Weapon of Awe, which is a standard action, and that is going to give me a plus two on... It's going to make your weapon very, very cute. Aww. (laughs) Shop. (laughs) <laughs> it's going to... Wait a minute, let me find it. Just a second. Yeah, just had it as up. you have mentioned, that it's 30 feet within time of casting, not constant 30 feet. It's going to give me a plus well, two no, I damage. Didn't, I didn't say they needed to maintain 
They yeah. do need to maintain 30 feet. I just said they need to be <laughs> within 30 feet of each other when I cast the spell. Oh, and each additional books. target has to be within 30 feet of the last target. So it does kind of hop across distances. There's my notes for Traveler. We'll have to get, I'll have to start making up part two of that now. I'll have to get a, a new notepad for it, though. Okay, I'm going to cast that, and then I'm going to move to here. Okie dokie. And, uh, oh, Asia, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't think you've got time to buff up. No, I do not. Did we you get a bonus what? to attacks from you? You get plus one bonus from haste. From haste? Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, I better start right As now. the kids say. Yeah, well, yeah, might as well do this. Oh, has it been long enough for Elijah oh, to uh, regrow a pet? Uh, oh yeah. No. No. It, wouldn't have it been took it. us. It that took us a week, a week to get. We. It took us a week to get back to Coralt. Yeah. Yeah. I how, guess it how, has. how long have we been traveling up this road? You said it was a yeah. long and no, yeah, arduous. You're, yeah. Yeah. You're right. There would have been plenty of time for you to regrow. You're re uh, familiar. Well, you know what? I haven't bothered updating his sheet yet, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to charge in, as the kids would say nowadays, you eat, and I'm attacking him with a long spear, and I did not fucking hit, I'm going to die. That's through, a five, <laughs> that's through the reach of the owlbear. Just do the one in front of you, dude. That is the one in front of me. No, there's one directly in was directly in front of you. Unable to see it because it's same, it's dark color. Yeah, this is the one. No, where you were before. There's there was one, one right, right here. Because this one gets that one's not directly in front of me. There You're was right here. No, he doesn't. He doesn't have a fifty foot reach. Fifty feet. You went <laughs> through his five foot <laughs> space. Yeah, that one don't get. Who's? You were here, Matt. Let me draw this. No, I was here. No, you, no, weren't. you weren't. You were right here. Right yes, I'm sorry. I was. No, you no, weren't. No, you weren't. I was there. You were here. You went like that. No, I'm pretty sure I was there. No, you weren't. Matt, believe us. <laughs> That doesn't make sense because you didn't move from here to here. You move, you move from in front of one owl bear into another one. Literally the same amount of space. You could tack the one right in front of you. Easy. <laughs> and do a power Are you attack. Gaslighting me? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you were. You're yeah, fine. I'll go back here. But you then I'm rerolling the, the attack because I don't get charged. Yeah, and you get three, you have three attacks. Two attacks. Yes, what? If he uses Not a full attack, you get three attacks on their new bab. Uh, you have earned a second attack because of your iterative attacks. He only has one base attack, which means he gets two because of haste. Oh, I have two base attacks, so I get three. Okay. You get one additional attack at okay. your full attack you bonus. You hit with one, Matt. What's your reach, by the way, when you're small? Well, if he's using a spear, he can reach it. Oh, you're using your spear, are you? Yeah, so... Oh, yeah. one hits. Has he rolled? He has. It's 22 hit. Try to oh, okay. gaslight me. <laughs> We're not gaslighting you, dude. <laughs> you can go back and watch this part, Matt, when we're finished. Yeah. You'll see. One, why would your party members gaslight you about that? 
We're trying to save you from getting an attack of opportunity. <laughs> 10 damage? Okay. Okay, Albert time. Oh, God. So, screeching. This one move forward and then attacks. Uh, it's going in with its claws. <laughs> it's not it. Okay. Sick one. Yep. It's going in. Attack with its claws. Does not hit. No. <laughs> it, it That's a critical to, failure. To attack you. It's a... <laughs> and it ends up wrapping its wing claw things around itself. <laughs> like it's an early 90s rapper. <laughs> it's confused itself. It's just like. Ugh. Grabbed itself and it's standing there. Like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> And this one is... yeah. Going to move... here. And screech loudly. Okay, red. Okay. Red, please. <laughs> huh? Red, please. It's please. Turn. <laughs> Gonna start up my song, giving a plus one strength bonus to everyone. Uh, giving everyone superstition and lesser celestial totem. I can't remember what that does. <laughs> lesser celestial totem, whenever you receive healing, you gain additional healing depending on the source. Basically, plus seven health whenever you heal from anything. Okay, good. And the other one was... Uh... It adds three to all of your resistances. Okay, so, got it. Reflex, will, fortitude, three, blah, blah. Right. Yep. I have to you do that after I cast haste because otherwise you guys have to save against haste. Okay. And I guess I'll move out here so that my character with her bright red hair might attract the thing's attention instead of having it double team on Manos. <laughs> and I'll end my turn. My turn. I'm doing a full attack on this asshole right here. So that'll be three. And my bonus is okay. Dirt. One second. Okay. First attack, 17. Look, Micro, the party buffer. Yeah. It's not minutes. a glamorous roll, but okay. it's one that I like playing. Second attack. I guess that hits. Third yeah. attack. 16? 16. 11. Um, also hits. Okay, so now I gotta do damage. One sec. 17, 26, 11. Because your second Oh, right, the 11. The last one's 11. Oh, 11 doesn't hit then. Okay, so only two. Okay, got right. it. Alright, one sec. Let me do the damage here. 1d3. 1d10. Times three, one, ten. Uh, micro, it is a valid um, template to have a good touch character and a bad touch character. <laughs> if they're playing the cleric, well, uh, especially. But it, it's easy. kind of a thing where not a lot of characters like playing a support character, but I find I enjoy it. Like, Manos is going to be exploding demons and dragons and things into clouds of dust and Elijah Damage just the first hair is 13 first strike is 13 okay and damage on the second strike what? is 21 so 34 damage 3d10 yeah where do you yeah. get 3d10 from it's 3d10 it's oh 3D because 10. of the weapon of all oh it's oh i didn't even yeah, there's Weapon of Awe in there, too, and... Oh, you know what? Take it back. I take it back. I, I, say, not a 3D10. I, mis I misread my sheet. 
I misread my sheet. Sorry. Well, that's Sorry. one fucking hell of an X. Yeah, I was gonna say. I as I was rolling, I was like, "Does is this?" <laughs> okay, there we go. I'll re-roll. Uh, first attack. There, that's more like it. And second attack. There. So sixteen and eighteen. Okay. So that's fine. I've got that coming off that there. That's fine. Oh shit! My body's dead. <laughs> Oops. Uh, okay. That's fine. Got that there coming into that. That's fine. We're taking that from that. So that leaves that one like that. Okie dokie. And, uh. Gem. Uh, Elijah, sorry. That's. Is that a. You've muted yourself, Matt. You're, you've muted yourself again, man. You just muted yourself again, man. You muted yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> the dice is rolling. So, I'm presuming that was a five foot step. Yeah. Okay. And, uh. A full attack, two strikes. Okay, both strikes hit. Oh. Okay, 16 damage. Right. Okay, owl bear time. This one's going to smack into you. It's got its full attacks now. Which. No! <laughs> okay. What did I do to this owlbear? Hurt it. it. It's an owlbear. It doesn't need... You just stabbed oh. it twice. <laughs> okay. Now it's we... going to hurt us. <laughs> or no. no. Good Ooh. God. A uh, critical failure on the first roll of a yeah, full attack. <laughs> Another critical you better fail. make something bad happen there, Angus. <laughs> I'm, working I'm working on this <laughs> generator. See if this will do anything. Like... See if I can get anything from this. Uh, critical family ta table. There we go. Let's see what this does instead of me usually describing it. Uh, okay, let's roll a random number for this. Okay. Um. <laughs> It uh, it reaches for you, but it misses so badly that its other wing slices into its it its its left wing slices into its right wing and it loses some health. Oh, poor thing. Not a lot, but it loses some. I'll have to keep this for future. Okay. I think there's something in the drinking water around here. These albers look kind of confused. Dopey. I hope they haven't been sucking on the balls of that. Uh, Cthulhu tree. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Now. What shall we do? I think I'll leave that one to stop there. Uh, oh, wait. No, that's Albert 3. That's Albert 2. There we go. On Manos. It is going to try to bite you. Okay. No, I don't want a GM roll. Nope. Nope. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, it just kind of snippy snapped. <laughs> kind of gnawing on your plate armor a little bit. Just... I'm trying to oh, that's so cute. Attacks. It's being friendly. <laughs> I don't think they do. Hmm? No, this one doesn't have a two attacks. Okay. And this owl bear is going up to you. Oh, don't you. Oh. 14. God damn it, I've suddenly started nope. rolling low. It swipes across at my blouse and rakes its claws against metal it didn't see that was there. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. <laughs> you can't see my breastplate, it's glamoured. 
Oh, I wasn't looking at your breastplate. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How uh, dare you? I'm, I'm a gentleman. <laughs> Jeb? Sure, I've slept with half orcs, but I mean, you know, that was a thing. I was trying to, you know, get information that no one believes me, but that's what I was doing. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, whose turn is it? Uh, yeah, turn. Oh, right. I was too. <laughs> Okay, so mainly I want to know what a half orc clitoris looked like. Mainly I want to know what a half orc clitoris looked like. <laughs> Hearing it in echo is it's like an angry thought. <clears throat> so <laughs> power attack, and I'm gonna do two attacks because of haste. Okay. Twenty-one oh. hit, twenty-five hit. Yep, they both hit. Yeah, it does. <laughs> so thirteen damage plus twenty-one damage. Okay, so that's 34. Uh, use that with that one. Okie dokie, Manos. Power attack is just generally useful for killing things, but it does impact your ability to hit a little bit. Which is why I have my song and other things to make up for it. Okay, I'm going to do a full attack on the one that I've been fighting. Mm -hmm. So, three, so here's the first... Hits. Holy Ooh, shit! Roll hello. See if you confirm the crit. All right. I doubt it. Almost. Nope. That confirms oh, it. No, that would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Does that confirm it? Yeah. Holy shit! All right. Well, let's get this out of the way first. All right. Uh, let me. I've never done a crit, so help me. What am I? What do I do? What's the crit? What it's your, twenty. Like, roll, your, roll your. Roll your. It's tw so. It's it's a roll twenty. There's times two ways to do this, Jason. Yeah. I for so you either you either roll your attack dice three times, or you just add your attack, or you just times your your damage dice and your strength modifier times three. Hold on, three. hold on. What is the crit? What does your what weapon have you got? I'm axe? using Gloria. I'm using Gloria. Yeah, but I can't if, Google if Gloria. It's, if According it's to this, it says it's a, it's a 20 times 3. That's what it says on the sheet. Okay, so that means that uh, you have to hit 20 to crit, and it's multiply your damage by 3. Okay, so whatever I roll for damage, it's times 3? Yep. All right. Okay, got it. So that's a 1d3. One sec. So 1d10. Plus three, that was nine. I was I think like, why am I smelling poop? And then I was like, oh yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> right. I want to see if I can find something to describe this for you. And you have to credit the four. And can I just roll three dice at the same time? Uh, just You crit playing me. I never critted. Uh, well, Angus is saying you, you roll it once and then we multiply it by three, yeah. is I think how oh, Angus okay. is playing it. Yeah. All right, got it. So I've always done it. Yeah, that's 14. I'll be honest, I prefer that way, too. So uh, Sometimes when you do, like, the, the roll extra dice, you, get, you, you don't get lucky, you know? So you've got the answer to the problem, Jason. You've got 42. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Which, uh, yeah. And you've probably you cut it in half lengthwise. I'm going to try and see if there's I can get something that describes it better, because there is a critical hit generator type thing. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think when Jason hit the the Albert, like it just all of a sudden gained like oneness with the universe right before it died? <laughs> <laughs> I understand everything now. Oh, oh I'm a not... filthy owl bear. That's pish. Okay. So, you um, swing with all your might at this screeching, maddened, eight-foot-tall, 1,200-pound owl bear with its mad, red, reddened eyes staring down at you. And uh, you bury Gloria in its skull, shearing through its beak. Oh, and uh, leaving it. Oh, you know what? Mess. You know what? You know... 
Yeah. You know, how, you know, how I'm I'm picturing this. You know, you know the video of like the cat sitting on the bed and the person puts the flower on its head, <laughs> and the cat like crushes up and goes all like, "Why died?" That's what I'm imagining with this owlbear, but instead of a fucking flower, it's your axe burying into its skull. <laughs> all right, is it dead? Oh yes, it is dead. Okay, I still have two attacks left. <laughs> What and can nothing I do? Within range. Yeah, no. Can I take a five foot step? No, I took a no, full attack. Uh, I can't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do anything. All right, I'm done. Okay. Wait, you already took a five All foot right, step? You can five foot step and take a full attack. Okay. I'll take a five foot step mm-hmm. here. You can, and you can at least move up to there. Well, no, I want to flank there. it. That would be I want to flank it. I want to flank it. Well, you can make a five foot step as part of a full attack. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm done. I did a full attack on the first one, even though I did kill it in the first blow. But yeah, it's a, and logically, I I think what would be before. I can't divert my attacks to another another opponent. Now it's my turn. Yep. You yeah. Have to, you can move a five foot step as afterwards, but you can't move a five foot step and attack again. I don't think. Right. Right. If you think about it, I killed that that's one and hits. then moved into position. So that's. It's that two it. hits, Matt. Yeah. Ooh, wow. Good job, Matt. I like this map. Huh, apparently you can. I, I was trying to remember oh, if you can? have to. Dis- well. You can attack multiple targets with a full attack, but I was trying to remember if you have to designate them before you make the attack or afterward. Uh, How yeah, am I, like I don't think you can move in between so if, attacks. So, so like if you had planned to okay. strike also, it and then move and move. then hit the other one originally, that would have worked. But since yeah, you I'm, planned I'm on okay attacking with it... What, I'm, I'm okay with what we got. Also, so. I think unless you... Also, I think unless you have cleave, you can't move. So, like, they have to be, like, right on top of one another. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Damn. Uh, damage. Or you have, damage. To, no, damage. you have to share a square. Right. Owlbear. Mm. So the owlbear screeches in front of Matt in pain before reaching out to bite. 23. Oh. That hits. No. Wait. Yep. <laughs> Did you include your plus one? I was so used to saying no. Yes, that is including his plus one because it was twenty-two to hit in a dragon. Well, yeah, fight. it's yeah. It's a... Okay, so that's a baity bite. Yeah, that was me fully buffed, so I don't have nearly as much AC. Not buffed, Jason. I have seventeen H AC. <laughs> There's five. I'm not damage. buffed. Five. Five damage. These are just random encounters. They're not designed to be actual encounters by me. So, you could be facing anything. I might just decide to start going like an old AD&D campaign and just be put you in a meat grinder. Who knows? Yeah, yeah but we'd be the grinder, no, right, guys? Right. <laughs> what was that, Matt? It's your turn. No, Jim. no please. <laughs> uh, there, there's still another owl bear to yep. deal with. Twenty-six to hit, Jam. Uh, yeah, that hits. And that's seven damage. Ow! <laughs> it's not that bad. All right, so, Red. See, you can tell what Matt's like. Oh no, no, no! Please don't do an old D and D style campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Where players were fucked just by getting sneezed on. Okay, so still have the song, still have haste, so swing, swing, nineteen and twenty. Yes, yeah, both. Yep. And uh, micro, when we're saying each turn takes six seconds, that's a round, as in an attack round. As it's not six seconds per attack, it's. To do all his attacks takes six seconds. And yes, you've hit Gem both times. Okay, so 12 damage, six, Twelve damage, 16 damage. Yep, and the free kick goes down. Oh! 
All right. I'm not just I'm... a spellcaster. I'm reasonably useful in a fight. <laughs> Manos. Ah, crap. Well, I guess I'm going to move. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. I'm going to then move... <sighs> Let's see. If I move here, that's an attack of opportunity? I'm behind him. Um, I wouldn't say attack of opportunity. It's a charge. If you I move presume. there, you are flanking him, which means that Elijah is also flanking him, which means that Matt is happy. Yes. Right. Okay. So I'm going to move into there, and then I'm going to take my two attacks. One attack. One attack. I have. You only get the extra. Have... You only get no. the extra attack from haste if you're doing a full attack, which you can't I... do if you've moved. Oh right, I can't do a full attack. So I'll take the one attack then. Yeah. Well, you've got your right. two normal attacks. Yeah, I have two normal attacks. No, oh, wait, the, no you the, don't. You've moved. The... Sorry, you've got one normal attack. So... I moved, so I yes. only have one. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay, so I'm taking my one attack. All right. And that's so 22. That hits. I've got some right, stones and... right up soon. <laughs> I've got the whole and plan. I've got, got the town to replan. I've got... <sighs> and that's 8. That's really... eight, four, 6. Seven, eight, 9. 9. Okay. That's 16. Okay. That uh, does damage, and that uh, takes it down. So your axe slices into the back of the thing, and it crumples to the ground. Fucking kill oh. stealer. What was? <laughs> look, dude, you were convinced that we were going to get killed the minute we walked in here. You wanted to run away. Looting bodies. Do they have anything? <laughs> uh, did I? Well, get their bodies don't. No, they're but... out there. <laughs> But they might have a den nearby. You never know. So, oh, we're not going to look for that. Although the bears that. themselves have nothing on them. Yeah, I'm going to take 20 and check out the, the Cthulhu tree. Okay, it's just a tree, man. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm going to check out the, 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 the land. Okay, at the bottom, in amongst the roots, you do find an old half-rotting body. Even though, even oh, no, um, it's no. Anyone we know? In. Nah. It's just some traveler. And you find some 24 platinum, pe- uh, platinum pieces on them. Oh. In a sack. Cool. Anything else? Uh, nope. Or, as we should say, anything else usable? Because there's probably bits of his armor lying here, there, and everywhere. <laughs> no, not anything use- uh, usable there, no. All right, well, good. Yay, we did it. Let's go. <laughs> so you move off. Tra- uh, going through the... Oh, I need an Indiana Jones map, but we can't do that just now. North. Through the trees. And swamps. Until finally you reach a range of mountains. Oh, we need ominous music. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> we'll take the old man's mountain. <laughs> Who said Flee. that? Flee to Moria. Flee. <laughs> oh, God. I do not want us to have to go there. <laughs> One does just not walk into Moria. <laughs> One flees. Its air is an acrid smoke. <laughs> so... <laughs> You uh, start to you start takes days for you to get through the mountain range, um, mm. to climb and get through the passes that have been marked out by the Shoatani and mm-hmm. the cleric. Thankfully, you're grateful you had a map because getting through this mountains without it, these mountains without one, would have been difficult, very difficult. Um, it helps to have a map. Unfortunately, as you travail. You encounter more arrow bears. <laughs> okay. Oh, pretty. Okay, let's get you set up. Looks like your snowy mountain pass. It is. You starting on the south or the north? What is going? Why? Is, just let me do my fucking thing. Oh, there we go. Well, I hope we start on the south because we're traveling north. <laughs> That would be logical. 
and you encounter a creature floating in the air. Is it, does he float? Well, does he what float? the? What the? What is that? You encounter a towering human with skin of polished stone and glittering eyes. What does knowledge check do we need? Detect evil. Uh, <laughs> you detect that it, there is evil in the area. In the area, but I'm here. Let me see. Uh, how knowledge far planer. Okay. He's sixty feet. I'm looking right what? at him. Detect 16? evil. That should be enough for a basic, maybe. If you he's a well-known. Uh, this is a, a genie of some kind. Why is this not showing? Mm -hmm. um, possibly from the plane of Earth. Mm hmm. Well, and is he high enough? Full? <laughs> 16 is not high enough? Oh, well. To get more than that, you recognize mm -hmm. that it's from the plane of Earth and that it's some type of. Um, you know. Does that make him an outsider? It does. This is, an out this is indeed an outsider, Manos, but being an elemental, it's not necessarily either evil or good. It really oh, sorry, depends you don't much more. evil in the area, sorry. I was wrong. I do not. No. So I don't detect evil there, off of him. There, there are evil elementals and there are good elementals, just as there are evil and good people, but uh, I can't remember which one this one would be classified as. Does anyone want to character. tell me this? <laughs> That's me in character. Okay. Hang back. Let me see if I can... Oh, I lost... Oh, I didn't... Let me change one sec. Okay. Hey. All right. So you see this figure standing before you. Eleven, it's about eleven feet tall. Heavy set. Heavy set. Well, they generally weigh about five thousand pounds. Greetings, immense visitor. I am Manos of Coralt, and these are my boon companions. Oh Lord, you changed again. Um, <laughs> what? Hi, Kim. Kim I'm me. Ben. Kim, ben. Fin, what? Finn. 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 Fen, Fen, F E N, Fen, Fen, Fen the dainty, and my other companion, um, <laughs> Elijah the unbalanced, <laughs> the sleepy, the 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 pot head, the <laughs> the occasionally mute, <laughs> Elijah the hexapod. He's no, no. Elijah for a person I've not given control to yet, but will do now. <laughs> yes, he's a hexapod. He's got two legs and four arms. He's a hexapod. That's true. Does it acknowledge any of us? It looks down at you. Now, what do they speak? What do they speak? Do they speak common? Ah, they do. They look down at you. And, uh... <laughs> you hear a big, booming voice. Say, Ha! Ah, little ones! Do I not shine correctly? In the sun, am I not prettier than these mountains? Okay, uh, <clears throat> let's see if I can actually pull this off for once. 20. That should be good enough for a little bit of schmoozing. Yeah. Oh, indeed, your gem-like surface is incredibly opulent in today's sunlight. Well, thank you, little one. I am indeed We, the we best. truly are blessed to find ourselves within your, uh, I assume, your territory, sir. Well, I mean, I'm here. This is mine now, as everywhere is, whenever I am. I feel best amongst these mountains, though. They feel good to me. Yeah. What was that? Oh, wait, I was... Sorry, I was supposed to roll two of those. One second. Are you casting Honey Tongue again? Yep. <laughs> I'm taking the 25. <laughs> the, that that was... That, I think that would be either an 8 or a 19. Why? Because that was two 20s. Right. Yeah, and you can only take one... Plus two. For about 25. Oh. Oh, it's not a... a oh, I see. You no, it says I have to pick... Yeah, I have to pick the higher one. So it's 17. I have a 19. 19, yeah. I I'm supposed to choose the one that's higher. Okay. So, okay. 
So I only have 17, 19. Is that any good? It's enough to be polite. Yeah, I okay. only rolled a 20 when I was schmoozing him, and he seems agreeable. Mm. Oh, resplendent one. Indeed, you are a marvel to behold. Well, I do agree. After all, I am me. But, oh, why are you here, puny ones? We're traveling north to combat a great evil. Oh, really? Hmm. Interesting. Tell me of this evil. We do not have a lot of information. We are first to gather some to see what it is, but we have met many people traveling from the north to the south who are indeed quite haggard, starved, and terrified of what's been happening in their homeland. Many of our people, of course, great one. Yeah. Yes. Well, good luck with that. It's nothing to do with me. Although we are pursuing the rumors of uh, certain mortal beings you may have heard of, the Rune Lords. And the disturbance in the North may be related to a resurgence in their power or some other entity trying to take control of it. Yes, or it may be others trying to resurrect the Rune Lords. I see. I'm sure in their magical manipulations, even they were able to cause trouble for great beings such as yourself. Well, yes, they did cause issues, but again, it's not my problem, that's for others. I don't see why I should be personally involved. Very well, then may we pass? Well, I guess this is a mountain pass after all. Ho! (laughs) <laughs> we would not dare to do anything without your permission, oh, truly great one. <clears throat> I see. That's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, you're right. After all, I do not own this land. It merely belongs. And I am perfect. I am totally getting this person's alignment wrong, but sod it. But what about <laughs> your silent companion there? Oh, sod it. For the first time, I am thankful that our silent companion is completely silent. <laughs> oh, yes. Man, we should probably shuffle on before Elijah wakes up. <clears throat> <laughs> Very well. Since you flattered me so well, I do not mind you carrying on. Our deepest thanks, and... Be well known that we will tell tales of your resplendency for the rest of our lives. Tell me, I sense. Is, do you have a gem that radiates warmth amongst you? We do. Hmm. I sense something odd about it. Um. Oh, okay. (laughs) Would you, would like to see it? I would. Yes. All right, I pull it out of my handy haversack. <clears throat> and he, he reaches down with his big hands and plucks the... It's only 11 feet, it's not like it's huge, bigger, huge, really huge compared yeah. to you, but... Big yeah, enough. Big enough. <laughs> he takes the, the ruby and looks at it, stares at it. Hmm. I tell you what... You leave this with me, and I might make something of it for you. Oh, um, we would be honored for the rest of our lives if you would do such a thing for us. Hmm. Versatile performance, uh, sense motive. Is he being honestly, uh, altruistic with us, as far as I can tell? He, um... You can tell that he actually does detect something odd with the gem. Uh, But there is a little something there in regards to his personal interest. He will make something of it, but it might cost to get it back. Mm. What that cost is would depend upon what, you know, what you came with. Okay. I do a small whisper into Manos' ear to that effect, of course. Okay. 
Well, the, the, this gem has been worthless to us. I mean, certain thing it is to be expected, and he would certainly know better to do what with it than we would, being a creature well, of yeah. the elemental planes. And besides which, we need to take this opportunity so that calmer heads can prevail, because thank God. Oh. <laughs> Indeed. We would the be elementals so honored. Be... Your gem is yeah. dead. <laughs> it's all dead. <laughs> Are you on drugs? Do you want drugs? I'm going to kill you. <laughs> We're dead. We would be so honored if you would perform your great feats of magic. <laughs> I do not use magic to craft my gems. I use skill. Pure Forgive. skill. Forgive my, my ignorance. How could one such as I know the inner workings of a being such as you? Yes, you are not wrong there. Well, leave it with me. Come back this way when you're done with your evil thing in the runes and whatnot. I should have something nice for you. Many thanks. Many, many thanks. Let's we are most gracious, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and with that, he just continues to look at the gem and various angles as you scurry underneath him. Well, alongside him, I guess, because I keep forgetting he's not... A, he's only a he's not that tall. big. Yeah, he's, yeah. he's big. He's a big boy. But we're used to big boys, aren't we, Elijah? <laughs> yeah, boy, I got the itis. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Sorry, there was a woodpecker outside. And since Matt seems to be actually dead this time. <laughs> we'll probably have to leave it there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's leave it there for next week. Yeah, next week, next month, whenever. Next time. Nah, next week. You said it. Next week. <laughs> next time. <laughs> More super fun adventures with Greedy Pros. More super fun, fun adventures in Bollywood land. I'm back. Mm. Ready to play. Let's go. <laughs> next week, maybe Funny Monster will play instead. <laughs> uh, would Funny Monster be a lawful good paladin? Let me find. Yeah, of course he would. Little paladin guys, guys with well, the village. He'd get the religious guys. side of paladinus. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> okay, folks, that says uh, for this week. <laughs> we'll see you all on Mixer. Feel or better, my topic I make up. Feel better. <laughs> make Bye. it easy, everybody. Bye. Right, how do I stop this recording now? There we go. Yeah. <laughs>